Hey, hey, folks, this is RV Davy again. Uh, sorry about that. Anyway, the uh, broadcast was cut off due to uh, my tow truck company calling me. Um, so just to let you know, the, the broadcast will cut off if I have to answer a serious call. And I have, those are serious calls, so I'll probably get another one in a couple hours. So um because they want to know how everything's going and i'm saying well it's we're working on it um work in progress okay so i uh, i'm not too worried you know i'm sh you know i'll be out of here so i ain't too worried got a broadcast got knocked out because i got a phone call that's what happened charles we're back on though at least for a couple hours you know until they call me back they're checking on me just to see how i'm doing so Doing okay. I checked my blood sugar too, and I got my uh, took my shot, took my medications, so I'm good there. So at least I got that out of the way. Hey, you get you get not to Walmart now, not yet. Um, I'll I'm gonna go there though. Um, as soon as I get this uh, fuel pump in and we test drive it, and then, uh, and this thing's drivable. Heck, I'm I'm driving to Walmart. Um, at least the one that lets you stay there. So. You know, before I, I drive all that way, I like to know that, you know, they're still allowing people to can't or to park there overnight. You know, they have been. They've been doing it. It's been that way for the last couple of years, you know, so I can't see anything changing. You know, nobody's ever said a word. Nobody's said anything. Who's that guy that pulled? Some guy pulled through. I don't know. This place, this place is busy. This, this, um, this, uh. Cracker Barrel. Let's see, where is the tow truck? The tow truck came and they couldn't. They could do nothing because, for one, the gas tank is is leaning down because somebody, the first guy, took it apart and left it and just left it like that. Uh, he left the bolts and everything underneath it. My mechanic came out. He got all the bolts and got everything. We we took a ride, got a fuel pump for this thing, so we got that. And that's taken care of. So we got all the parts we need, um, at least for now. Um, we're going to take it from there and uh, see how this thing goes, you know, when we get it put together. Um, mechanic's just going to work on it here. I think we'll get it done here. This is Cracker Barrels and... Oh, the Cracker Wauwatuki is friendly. This one is not so friendly. You know why? Because of the homeless people around here. There's homeless people all around this place. And um, they think RVs attract homelessness. That's what they think. But, you know, they don't really care for RVs and, you know, at their facility so much. But there's one in Glendale. That probably has, I bet you they have problems too. But then there's one in Chandler. I didn't know there was one in Ahwatukee. Or is that the Chan is that the Chandler one? I don't know. Told you yesterday they wouldn't tow you with a tank like that, but. You know, I thought they would. Chris thought they would, but, you know, Chris knows that they won't because I texted him. I said, they would. I go, you'd have to put the tank back, you know, up the way it was, the way it is in the condition that it was originally, and then we could tow this thing. That's the only way we get towed. Unless you just take the time and fix it. I said, the, the management here is aware of the situation. I told my mechanic, I said, you could come here, you could fix it. They don't care. Just fix it. Just, let's just finish it. Why, why put it back together when you have to take it apart again? You know, so just, it's already, all this hard work's all mostly done. You know, all he has to do is get it jacked up in the air, um, get a couple blocks, and so he could get it up a little further and, and that's all we got to do, you know. Let's just get it done. It's not rocket science here. What happens when the trespass you and you and you have to leave the? They're not gonna. They're they're not gonna get me for trespass. I I spoke to the cops. They. I said, hey, you know, I'm a. The cops know I'm a reasonable guy. That's what they said. They said, I'm. See, I'm pretty reasonable, man. I said, I just, I, you know, I, I'm here, I'm getting foot care for my foot, and if you need information on that, I have information for that. I'm going to 
a facility uh, that's Honor Health um, by John C. Lincoln, you know, so. Um, but anyway, the cops are cool. The cops didn't, cops are cool. They didn't do anything. It's, they said, okay, just work at it. Do, do the best you can, whatever. And they said, okay, then we're out of here. Okay, all right. So that was that. Was that. But to see the cops, the, you know, the cops, that was just stupid calling the cops. Whoever, they, they, they do nothing, you know. Let's see, if Cracker Barrel trespasses you, you have to, Right, if they do that, but they're not going to. I spoke to them. Um, I had a good conversation with them. No, they're they're cool. They're cool with me. They were just concerned about homelessness. I said, I go, I'm just, I'm broken down here. I know it. But I'm, I'm not doing any harm. I'm not throwing trash. You know, um, not dumping anything in your parking lot. Keeping everything clean, just as it should be. So they're 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 happy. They know that I'm... I came in there last night. Gave I ate there, so I talked to them again. You know, I said, "See, I'm here. I'm meeting. I'm eating. I'm giving you guys business here." So they were happy about that. So I used their restroom last night, which was cool. Hey, that's why I wanted to go eat there, so I could use their restroom. So yeah, eat and use the restroom, and yeah, you can buy stuff here too. You know, there's all kinds of cool stuff they got here too. So it's a cool restaurant, actually. It, I had chicken. Their chicken was really good. Chicken and gravy, boneless skin, uh, not not skinless, but boneless chicken. You could have it either fried or regular. Um, you could have any vegetable that you want with it, and whatever drink you want with it. I mean, it was really good. I'm just, I was, I was ecstatic at about how good it was. Really. So, let's see. I right, save all your receipts. Uh, yeah, I got my receipts. Yeah. I got all my receipts in my little fanny pack, so. But, yep. Um, did you. Do you. Did you smell. No, I don't smell like a homeless person. No, I'm cleaned up. You know, I got clean clothes on. I got extra clean clothes here. I got shirts. I got. I got what? Five pairs of shorts left that, that are clean. Brand new shorts, actually. So we're good there. I got Josette Egypt in here. Hello, hello, hello. Welcome to the channel. Thanks for coming, man. Thanks for being here. I hope you can understand me. Um, coming from where I think you're all oh, you're coming from Egypt. I got somebody all the way from Egypt in here. Isn't that amazing? Egypt. Yeah, I got Revelator Phoenix in here. We got Steve Azaro. In here, and we got Jeff Lebowski, the the race car driver from NASCAR. We got him in here. Who else do we got? We got Janice Lala. We got uh, who else we got? I'm trying to see who else we got in here. That's who we got. That's I named all the people that we have. Anybody else is it's just simply um, uh, just sitting in here and lurking. They're just I just got some lurkers. So I walked into a store in Quartzsite and somebody stunk like they hadn't had a bath in a year. <laughs> That's funny. I just got, you know what, I got some new, brand new, I got another update. I got some brand new insurance with uh, my Medicare. Um, dental insurance, $5,000 worth of dental insurance. Five grand. Towards, five, not only five grand, but I could get, I got, I got, I get 40% off any teeth work. In other words, if I need implants, I can get 40% off implants. 40% off. In addition to they they there's they already gave me what $5,000 there and then 40% off. So, let's just say, yeah, cuz I my teeth are messed up in the front here and I got to fix. I know I got I know I got to work on them. Um that I do know. I just haven't had the opportunity. I've been taking care of my regular self to to worry about this, but I'll get there and Someday I'll be able to smile good, you know, with a white, super white. I could get dentures that actually are, are drilled up in and clicked in in the place. I could do that, and those are like what ten thousand bucks for one set. Yeah, one set, so I get a top set for like ten grand, and then I can get. Uh, well, shoot, I can get it down to. I can get forty percent off of those, so. So forty percent off of ten grand, and then I got five thousand sitting there. 
So five, so so five thousand plus forty percent. So do the math. Um, I can get those done for pretty cheap, you know, for the first year and the second year, then I I get a bunch more work done. But my bottom teeth are good; they're perfect. Uh, not they're not perfectly situated in here, but they're I've got all my teeth in the bottom. Uh, I'm missing a couple on the on the top, and I got a couple messed up teeth up in the front. But I'm missing two teeth. In the top, which I'm going to get fixed and repaired. Um, so with with the dent with the dental dentures, uh, that'll fix that. So I'm I, I'm pretty well set that I'm going to get the dentures uh, in in my mouth uh, on the top, at least for the top. So we'll put to pull all the teeth, and then put the and then uh, they got to drill and put the the little screws. There'll be like five screws they got to put in to mount that to click to click it in you know that way you never have to worry about um you know paste denture paste you know if you're eating in a restaurant it's embarrassing if your teeth drop out of your mouth and fall on the table that'd be kind of embarrassing wouldn't it so yeah that's what the the uh dentures that click in that won't happen so but i still got my bottom teeth so that's good so we got we're good there but anyway, that's just for that, so I'm not too concerned my, right now. Oh, yeah, let's see. When is the last time you did laundry or showered? Ah, uh, I cleaned myself up the day before yesterday, and I'm due for one probably sometime today. Uh, when I get to the new location, I'll, I'll, you know, I got what I do is I. Here's how I do it, because I, I can't get my feet wet at all or my legs because. They got them wrapped up, so I can't mess with that. But here's what I could do. I could, I got a rag. I got clean rags, wash rags. Uh, I get some water in a pan. I, I, I don't boil it. I just heat it up. And I put my uh, soap on a rag. Um, it's real simple. I got a pump style, you know, um, Irish Spring um, body wash. I apply that to the wash rag and dip it in the pan, put a little bit in the pan too, uh, stir it up in there in the pan, and I clean up. Just I, I feel just like a brand new person when I do that. So just like brand new. Works great. Works like a charm. It always has. I've been doing it that way for what, five years now? Almost five years. So what's up, everybody? Hello, Ken's Back Road Travels. We got Ken's Back Road Travels in here. We got Davy's Tribe member in here. How many people? We got 11 people in the house here right now. I mean, we don't have uh, 20 people, but, you know, what was it? We had 25 or something last night. So we had a pretty good-sized crowd. Um, had a lot going on last night. You know, I, I had the tow truck driver supposedly coming out here. He could get out here till this morning, and he got, I guess, about 9 he got here and he couldn't get me out of here. Too many cars in the parking lot. He couldn't get his truck in here. So not a big deal. I said, you, you know what? I, you know, so he went, he, the truck driver, the tow truck, tr tow truck driver went inside Cracker Bro. Said, hey, I'm trying to tow him out of here. I can't get him out. And he goes, but maybe tonight, maybe when all your, all your traffic is, slows up, we can do it. So, but anyway, uh, my mechanic will be out here. We'll get this thing fixed. We already got the part. We'll get it done. We'll get it out of the way and fire this baby up and should be able to, we'll test drive it and see how it, uh, see how it runs. Should be, should, I know it's a fuel issue for sure. And if not, then, then it'd be put a set of spark plug wires on it with some spark plugs and, but anyway, we did check the spark plugs by the way and they, they look, they all look good, so. There's no carbon or nothing, nothing built up in them, and so they're good. Plus, you can clean those up; and they can last. You can clean up spark plugs forever, man. But yeah, so let's see. If you fix the pump, you won't need the. No, I won't. That's right, Janice. Uh, I won't need the tow. If I, I I drive this thing, you know, sixty miles an hour. Um, of course, you don't go sixty on the streets here. I'll be taking regular streets. Um, Driving, driving back. Uh, I'll, I'll basically I got to go south of here to get to Bell Road. I'll take Bell and I'll shoot Bell all the way across, 
town. I got I got to go about probably 12 miles, and go head east, and then I'll get to uh, uh, the Scottsdale and Phoenix North Scottsdale, Phoenix border. So it'll be uh, it'll be the Phoenix PD uh, cops that have the right of way over there. So, but it's right next to Scottsdale, but. Scottsdale cops don't take over till Scottsdale Road, so at least when it goes to there, but it's see and the skill when uh, somebody's texting me. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna answer that yet. They're trying to say how the tow truck driver was that came out. He did all he could do. Let's see, this engine is only a year old. What app uh my engine is about yeah, about a year old, basically. It's it's only got like 1200 miles on it that's all it's got um 12 i put 1200 on it maybe close to 1300 miles and i just changed the oil um chris just got me a gallon of synthetic uh, uh mobile oil for a good price and i got a gallon of uh, antifreeze too um for the, for the radiator too so i got that so i got plenty of oil for me um uh, let's see what else do I got. I'm pretty good shape with with. I got some tools. I got a drill in here. I got. I think I was just showing you this. I don't know if I don't think everybody saw this. I'm gonna see if I can do it. I got this device. I just wanted to show you guys. Um, this is something everybody should have when you're a nomadic person. Is one of these Ever Ready. This just happened to be by Every Ready. Ever Ready. But look, you got. This, it gets your negative, positive, and you just jump start your car with this. Uh, that's all you need. You don't need a, you don't need somebody with the jumping cables. You just put this on your negative, positive, and and fire it up, man. It's that simple. It's not rocket science here, you know. But yeah, these, this is what you can get these anywhere. Uh, it doesn't have to be this particular brand, but the same concept, you know. Here's your jumping cables. You put it on there, you turn that on 12 volt, hit the power button, and boom, start it up. You're good to go. That's all you got to do. It's that simple. No rocket science. This is cool, man. I love this. This is, And I've, I've used this thing, too, and it, it worked like a charm. I was up in Cottonwood, what, a few years ago, and I used this thing, and, uh, oh, man, I got... I actually had to jump start myself one time with this, one time. And then I had I jump started another guy that was in the camp, uh, probably a, two times actually that I jump started him. So, but anyway, it worked great. So, I recommend it. And you go to Wally World and get that one for probably for a fairly good price. You know, I'm not sure. I don't know that. I don't have the price on him. Did he ran over the rock? See, I ran over a rock. That's what caused a, a lot of my problems initially. But uh, uh, running over rocks triggered a bunch of issues. Uh, they can. In this case, it, you know what? But this thing ran. This thing ran no problem when I went over the rock. I, I, I tore the man, the exhaust manifold to pieces. And I took. And I had the spare one. I still had a spare uh, exhaust manifold. So that's the one Chris put on here. He came all the way from Phoenix, uh, all the way up to Lake Havasu, uh, to fix me, to get me uh, uh, up and running. And he did. He got me up and running and put the gasket uh, on the manifold, put the manifold, the, the the other manifold on, and boom, fired it right up, and I was ready to go, man. That's simple. Um, then I had to. I ended up with the fuel issue after that. So. Go figure on that one, but yeah, started chugging. It was running perfect. It's funny because it was running perfect, and then all of a sudden it went from perfect to like boom. It just happened in one second, just like I snapped my finger, and there, there I was. I could only I was chugging, chugging about three miles an hour, ten at the most. I could barely climb a little tiny. I'm up in North Phoenix, so there's a lot of hills, you know, up here, and because uh, you're climbing, you're because basically you're you're on a mountainside and you're you're just climbing because you're you're heading on the way up the Flagstaff, and it just the more further you go north, the more you climb. It's just because you're you're climbing up a mountain at that at this point. So, but yeah, so I'm up higher in elevation because I'm up in North Phoenix. 
I'm probably about 1,800 feet elevation here. Um, just a couple more feet, you're at 2,000. And 2,500, before you know it, you're at 3,000 feet elevation. You get towards, uh, what's it, uh, uh, Black Canyon City, just below that. There's a town below that. Um, and then you get to Black Canyon City, you're at, you know, 3,000, 3,200 feet elevation. And, you know, you're not, you know, another 3,000 and a half to get the flag. So, so you got another 3,000 to climb, and then you're at flagstaff level. So, Cottonwood, I believe, is what, 3,300, 3,300 feet elevation at Cottonwood. So, that, that's a destination I'd like to go to, um, in the next month and a half, probably, let's see, March. In March, I'd like to go to Cottonwood for one month. And then after that, I head to Flagstaff. So that's that's kind of like my plan right now. So, yeah, uh, so we're going to, that's what we're going to do. Davey, I don't talk. You don't talk bad, you sure? People are saying you are. I'm just wondering, you know. If you're not talking bad, then you're all right. You know, you could be in here, you know. I just want to make sure that, you know, you're, you know, people are saying that you're saying this and that. And so. Oh, you're in bed last night. Okay. I did a little live stream, I think, last night. Not for mo not very much, but um, I was waiting for a tow. I could never get it, a tow truck driver. So besides, they wouldn't tow it because of the gas tank issue. So. So, but anyway, no big deal on that. So, um, I'll get my mechanic out here. He already contacted me. He'll be out here. He's got to take care of his dog, too. He's got a little dog that's got to eat it, eat his uh, antibiotics. So, so he does that. And then they eat. They're going to get their, eat their meal between the two of them. And then they'll head over to here. And we'll get working on this. And, uh. Yeah, I talked to management here. They're cool. I talked to the cops yesterday. That was okay, too. So, no big deal. I was just, it's just too bad they had to call the cops yesterday. That's all. That's all. I, I wish they, I, I told the cops, I don't know why they called the cops. Well, because you're, they don't know, they don't know what's going on. I'm like, so they're trying to figure it out. I go, they could have just came to me and talked to me personally, you know. They didn't have to call you guys. They wasted your time, you know, bringing the cops in on it, you know, so. But I told the cops, I said, I got a mechanic. I'm working on it. I'm kind of trying to get a tow. I'm trying to get out of here. Uh, we'll get out of here. Don't worry about it. I'm, don't worry about it. I said, I'll be out of here. No big deal. Um, I said, I just got to communicate with the management here, and we'll. I think we'll be fine. Um, so now I'm not hurting nothing sitting here. I'm not. I'm not an eyesore or nothing or anything. I'm not doing anything wrong. I'm not breaking any laws. Um, except if they want to say trespass. But they're, we're not going to get to that. So um, I, I, the, the owner was cool. The management of this restaurant is fine. So we'll, we'll, we'll deal with what we got to deal with. So we'll get everything fixed. I'll get this thing running. And it'll, we'll be, I'll be able to drive this thing out of here. I'm pretty sure of it. If not. Then I'll get the tow truck driver, and we'll we'll get in a position where he can get his truck and tow this thing. So, and then we'll figure it out. What if that's the case? But we'll we'll take it from each step that we reach. So, but we're not. Let's just get the pump in and see how it runs. And after that, it can only be a couple things. It could be a it's a poss potentially a, an exo uh, um and so, uh, um, oxygen sensor uh, is a, something you could possibly blame, but uh, not yet. We're not there. I think the the fuel issue, and also t there, I got a restriction in the pipe when I crunch down on the rock. So Chris can heat that up and take a pair of uh, vice grips and 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 break and then straighten that kink out. So we could do that. Either that or saw it off. But I think I think you just you just un you heat it up and and put a pair of channel uh, 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 grips on it, channel grips, and and then uh, take out the kink. It's not that hard, you know. We'll figure it out. We figure out everything. So, 
My mechanic knows this vehicle inside and out. So that's why I prefer him to work on it. So he's always been my personal mechanic. So he'll always remain my personal mechanic. You know, I don't trust anybody. I had a guy come out and he really effed things up. He did. So uh, that's... <laughs> And this guy claimed to be a mechanic. This guy was not a mechanic at all. Not even close. You you could have paid three real repair guys on what you have wasted on. No, not Chris. Chris has not been a waste, Ken. Chris has uh, been okay. No, I, I had one guy out here before, after, after Chris, and this guy effed it up. He effed it up big time. He didn't come back the next day. He didn't show up. So he calls me the next day and says, uh, I don't know, man. I might, it might be a week or two. I could get out until I get out. I said, no, there's no week or two here at Cracker Barrel, man. You, you get out here now. You fix it now. You took it apart. If you took it apart, then just put it back together. And, and I, I want out of here. And he wouldn't. He said, no. He goes, F you. So he said. So I said, F you, huh? Is that what? Is that the kind of businessman you are? Okay, all right. We'll take it from there. Craigslist mobile mechanics are the... I didn't call him from Craigslist. I call... I went into the directory to, to find this guy. And, you know, he's... Screw that. You know, Chris... Chris will get this thing in there. He'll do it. He'll do it. He, he'll do it. He'll get it done right. I mean, everything he's done on this thing has worked. He did... He fixed my manifold. Drove all the way out to Lake Havasu, and this thing ran like a charm, and got me out of there, got me back here. So I made it all the way from Havasu all the way to here, so not too bad. And then I come all the way, wind all the way from west to east, and then come up north. North Phoenix is another 25, 30 miles up this way, so. It's a big town, but Phoenix ain't no small city. You gotta drive a lot of freaking miles around this freaking place. It's about 400 miles a square a yards um, all the way around this town. It's 400 miles around a complete circle around the Phoenix. It's 400 miles. It's a big town from, from north to west to east to south. It's freaking huge. It's 5,000. There's 5 million people live in this town. So it ain't small either. And more people moving here too. So. This has become a junior L.A. We're, we're sitting right next to Los Angeles. So, yeah. You know, Phoenix is right next door to L.A. So, what would you think? What would you, what would you, what could you think? Uh, you know, so. But anyway. Got these little freaking gnats flying around in here. Freaking pain in the butt. Have they, ha they have an excellent mobile guy in Portsight. I used the last year to work on my... He was very good, and his price was reasonable. I know he covers all over South. Yeah, I don't think he'd come to Phoenix, though. I, Chris will get this thing ironed out. Don't you know? It's not a big deal. We'll get this. We'll get this thing going. Um, I got plans. Like I said, the my biggest plan is get out to my uh, get up to northern Arizona. Get up to my area up in northern Arizona there, and. Uh, get situated i'll get there situated in flagstaff um i go to cracker barrel and flagstaff it's not a problem it's never been a problem at cracker barrel flagstaff never never i was there what two years two summers yeah it was never an issue it's always good there i was there till september 30th and got freaking cold and started snowing so um i was there for the first two snowstorms so yeah, the first two that Flagstaff got, they were, it was like three inches of snow. It wasn't that much. You know, three inches freaking melts off really quick, you know, once the sun comes out, you know. And that does happen. Flagstaff does get some sun. It's see, David, did you get your account fixed at somebody? Yeah, I got it fixed. Um, that's fixed so far. Um, but I'm going to switch banks. Uh, did you? Did your bank account get fixed for yeah, I did well. Did, well, well. Put it this way: I when I get this thing running, I'm gonna get to the bank. I gotta get. That's one of the things I gotta do. There's a bank right where we're going. 
the Walmart where I'm going to go, there's a Wells Fargo bank right there. So I'm going to go there, talk to their people about how that this account got hacked, and because uh, it needs to be done. We need I they they got me a new card, new number, changed the account. They've done that, but not to say it won't happen again. You know, I'd rather just go to another bank. Um, I'll go to like a federal credit union bank is what I'll do. But uh, I got to figure out which one I'm going to. I need to figure out one because when I go up to Flagstaff, I need one that will co accommodate me in Flagstaff when I get there. So so that's a big thing there when I get up there. So we'll, we'll deal with it. Deal with one thing at a time. That's all I can handle. And I got my medical. I got to make sure I keep my uh, keep up to date on my on my pills and medications and all that kind of thing. So, do you have ordered have Have you ordered a pizza? You ordered a pizza live and gave. Yeah, that probably wasn't good when that happened. Uh, probably wasn't. As it turns out, maybe. It could be that person that may have well done what they did. So um, somebody hacked and used and sent a, a link to my friend's uh, thing in Facebook. So that's what caused all the trouble. I told my friend, uh, I go, hey, Jim, don't click on the link, man. I said, before you do anything, you call me first. You call the bank. I'd call the bank. If it's Wells Fargo, call them up. Say, hey, somebody's freaking hacking into this account and trying to send me a whatever and uh told him i said no always call me and get a hold of me i mean i know you have a you have a business to run but you could still call me it, it only takes a couple seconds call me and uh we get the things straightened out as to what's going on so when you get your paypal paypal fixed so i got my paypal working i think you want to see if you want here I'll, t I'll let me send my let me send my paypal uh let me post it up in here hold on a second here let me do that here real quick let's see here's let me see here let's do this H -T -T -P. we got to see here let's see get this dun 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 let's see here Let's see here. PayPal. PayPal. Dot me. Dot me. I think it's one forward slash. And then let's figure this out here real quick. I think that's how you do this. Let's see. Let me take a look. That appears to be correct. PayPal me. Let me try this. Hold on. See if this works for the PayPal. Try that, uh, Lori. Or anybody wants. If anybody wants to put money into my account to help me out. There's my PayPal, just in case. Uh, and anyway, see if that works. See if that. Let me click on it myself. Uh, see if I click on it, it doesn't do anything. So. Wait, no, it doesn't do anything. Let me click out of here now. Cancel that. I didn't realize I did that, so if I typed in a password. No, there's no password in here. That's just... I believe I got it typed in there correctly. Yeah, it should be. That that should be... Doesn't work? Really, doesn't work? That is the way... That is the correct way to do it, isn't it? The way the, the, the PayPal, the, the forward slash... Or is it PayPal and then me? I didn't think so.
Yeah, I don't know. I have to check. I, you know, I can't get into my PayPal account, but HTTP is secure server, man. HTTPS. Hold on. Let me. Let me. Let me do. Let me go back. Uh, let me. I gotta redo it. Then I gotta put the S in there. That's HTTPS and a forward and a colon or something like that. Uh, let's see here. Let me see here. I'm trying to find it. Let me try. Let me try something else here. Hold on a second. Yeah. Wait. It's, it's okay. All right, I have your account linked in my. Okay. All right. Well, did I type that in there correctly, Lori? Did I type uh, the PayPal Cigna in there right, correctly? Or was there supposed to be the S after the HTTP? After the P, there should have been an S or, or not? Or don't matter? Davey Trey, remember? I just got to get with you. Uh, did I type that correctly in there? Copy and paste your your link. It may be easier for you. I got to figure out how to get that done. See, I'm not. I got to get over. Let me get. I got to get this vehicle running, and then I got to get over to Straight Jackets place and uh, fix uh, fix all these things up and get everything working properly. You know, with the phone and get with the, like I said, Straight Jacket will will be. Will be then they got to get a tax identification number for to get my super chat back. Um, that's just a matter of you got to apply for a business tax number. I called IRS on that, so they told me that. So that's something. That's something else to do. That's just another something I got to do. Which, which you know, I, if I could have got them on the phone, it would have been good. But I couldn't get through to IRS on at least on that end of it. But. Uh, I got for the first part, but then the second half to apply, they were too busy and I couldn't get it done. So I'm telling you, man, it's it's not one thing, it's another, you know. That's one thing I can say. If I don't say so myself. That comes from the, the, from the slogan from Tombstone, the movie. Tombstone, now that's a cool place. I like Tombstone. There's just not a lot of places to camp around there. But I guess if you look hard enough, I guess you can find one, you know. You need to have a business in, 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 entity for a tax identification, man. Yeah, you got, I got to have a tax. Uh, you know, they got. I got to apply for a, a business tax number. That's what IRS told me. So, so I get to apply for that. So that's something something else to do. Well, I do need, yeah, Katie, I do need some help, yeah? I'm not saying I don't, you know? Um, I just, yeah, I don't have, I don't have uh, uh, somebody to help help out with me. Yeah, I need some help with stuff, you know? Need some overall help. Let's see, Davey, I plan to uh, go up to Sedona from Quartzite around uh, March first and it is icy and snowy up there this time oh yeah i'm not yeah you're right it is uh that's why i'm waiting i'm you know cottonwood i could go up in cottonwood like next month you know february about the end of february i can go up to cottonwood and be not a problem um i know exactly where to camp around cottonwood i got i got a cool spot really right in town just i mean Right in town. Nobody cares. Nobody says anything. So, so, so I know what I can do when I get to Cottonwood. So, Cottonwood's piece of cake. I got a, I got a, I got a, um, a pavement, not dirt. But if I want, I could go out to the river, and camp at the river at uh, out in, up close to Clarkdale. It's right. You got to go to Clarkdale. So all you do is. You take that turn, go like you're heading up to uh, Jerome, and you go all the way to the end. There's uh, there's you got these uh, roundabouts. There's a roundabout where you turn either turn right, and you go to Clarkdale. You turn left, it takes you to Jerome. It's a it says four miles to Jerome to get up there. But I can't take my RV up there because uh, I get a ticket. So can't park RV up there. No way. I've done that and I got a ticket. 
and uh yeah what a pain in the butt it's you don't want to get a ticket up there in jerome because you can't pay the ticket you got to get a money order and, and send the, the ticket to the damn cops up there you just can't go step into their their uh their their department up there in jerome and pay it they won't let you do that so just a reminder to those and never take that um that road next to the fire station called pink pinker pinkerton or park or parkins parkinsville road or i can't remember anyway the road that you see right next to the fire department never take that road freaking dangerous road Especially for long vehicles, the sharp turns and, and, the, and the road is so narrow, you swear to God, it's like you're going to fall off the edge of the cliff. I'm just going to tell you, there's some tough spots. There's like several. And, uh, I, you know, I, I got, un, it was an unfortunate thing. I ended up on that road. Somehow I was able, my I got a mechanic that came in there and helped me, uh, you know, get me off of that road. So I was able to go straight a little bit. I found a little turn, a little turn, a little, just enough of a turn to get out of there, turn the RV around and, and go the other direction and go back to Jerome, and then, and then I was out of there. So, but anyway, that's just a long story short there on that ordeal. But yeah, let's see. Police can't do anything to Davy unless he is team great. They, you know, they're not, they're not doing anything to, I, I, how many times have I talked to the cops? What, two, two or three times? Actually, twice, twice, one, well, they didn't physically get me at, it, it, on the, my former neighborhood, with, where Chris lives, the lady called the cops on me, the, all I heard was that the cops said I couldn't go on that street, which is a bunch of crock, how, you, you know, my friend goes, you could only stay here for 15 minutes on this street. What what kind of crap is that? I mean, I thought you're legal. I'm legal to go on any street. Come on, what the heck? What are they talking about? Davy should put up his own <laughs> his own mailbox of crap. <laughs> That's pretty funny. Yeah, I probably could do that. I I always thought you know what I'd like to do is just put a mailbox on my RV, but not it wouldn't be for real. It'd just be for a joke. You know, somebody sees a mailbox on it. Then they'll kind of figure out, okay, this dude probably, if he's got a mailbox on it, then shoot. I could get a real mailbox and just put it on the on the back of it, you know, and mount it to the back. I think, and you could store stuff in it, you know. You, you, if you get a big, big enough one, you could stick your, uh, your sewer hose in it, you know what I'm saying? And you got a lid and you can lock it too. They got the, the ones that lock. That'd be kind of cool, you know. Put a mailbox on there, and then put your sewer your sewer uh, container in there. And that'll work. Why not? Let's see. Your friends are. <laughs> your friend... <laughs> Let's see. Is it too crap? Yeah, you here? Uh, <laughs> that's pretty funny having my mail sent to crap. No, I my mail goes to Chris's house or goes to Black Canyon City. One of the two. It goes to one of those two places. That's where it goes. Until I could get my, until I could get a mail set up, uh, up there in Flagstaff, but, uh, or whatever, I can, I could get one in Flag and in Williams, both, actually, needs a Calthen, no, I don't need a Calthen converter, I've already, I've already checked it, no, it's, it's fine, we looked into that, we thought it could, I thought it could have, I thought it was, I thought it could be that, but no. My mechanic took a good look at it, and no, it's not. It, it's it's the fuel pump. The fuel filter, when I replaced it, it actually helped it run better. It actually did, but it, it still had problems. So, but I think that, in addition to the fuel pump, the fuel pump's never been changed on this. So it's the original one from 1995. So I guarantee it's probably that. But if it's not, hey, we'll figure it out. We'll get there. We'll figure it. It'll be a couple steps after, but we'll, we'll get to it. I'm, I'm confident that this vehicle will be up and running. Um, just letting you know. Let's see. Davey, just have a porta potty. To, I've got a porta potty in here. 
I've got a uh, I got a bucket system that works. I ain't too concerned about. I just if I had a toilet lid for it, I'd I'd be best off. Could be more comfortable, you know. But yeah, I get the plastic around it, and you know, I don't know. I, if I had a one of those noodles, the pool noodles, you know, what I'm talking about. And if I could cut a piece of that and place it on the bucket, that'd be that'd be perfect, you know. Sue Cracker Barrel, if it's not handicap accessible, huh? Well, I guess they really, I don't know, not every, not, there's a lot of places that aren't uh, handicap accessible. They're really not. They might claim to be, but I don't think they are. How many strikes are you going to give this mechanic? Three strikes? And, no, he, he, no, he's he's good. No, we'll, we'll get it done. I'm confident, so... We'll get we'll get we'll get it all done. Uh, I'm not I'm not too entirely, um, you know. I'm, I'm not I'm not you know whatever. I'm just you know, it'll work out. It'll work itself out. Let's put it that way. I don't need the Sue Cracker Barrel for handicap accessible, but uh, yeah, I wish I did. I wish I had a wheelchair, electric wheel. I do have electric wheelchair, but it's at it's at uh, it's in my shipping container. So, but if I could get that, I just need to make a you know a plat. I got a platform in the back. If I could just get the generator off of it, that generator is pretty freaking heavy. So if we get the generator off and then put the generator in the shipping container, and because I'm going to use that to charge up batteries when uh, for for when solar is not so so good in other words when there's not enough sunlight and too many clouds then then i can run the generator uh to charge up the batteries so i'm going to work on something for that too so are you no i'm not a vet unfortunately i wish i'd been in the military though wish i had have have you called the porta potty companies they will suck no i did laura i called that they there's nobody to suck it out i tried I tried everything. I called. You could look for me. Look for Phoenix and try to figure it out. I, I called so many places. I had to give up. There just wasn't any. You know, if I get this thing running, then I'll take it to a dump station, dump it. That's. But, yeah, I wish I could have got a company to suck it out, but I couldn't find any. I tried, man. I spent I spent at least three hours on the phone looking. I could. I got nowhere. Are you getting a sign that says RV Davy parking only? Ha! <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, did you see Herman and Janet Fields in the hot tub? Janet Fields? Who's Janet Fields? I never heard of Janet Fields. We got Oral Ole? God, I haven't seen Oral Ole in here in freaking ages, man. Did you... Let's see. Hello, my fellow tribe members. Liked and shared you, you out, host. Oh, okay. Well, I hope. Let's see. Dump it into your portable. Yeah, that's one thing I. That's one thing I can do. I do have. I do have the port. The 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 container for that too. I bought it. It's it's called. It's by Barker. It's a forty-two gallon. It's it's a nice one. Super nice one. 300 bucks. 300 bucks, and I got a pretty cool one, man. Then, I guess, um, what's the other one? Rhino makes one, too, but it's not as good because the wheels, you have to replace the wheels on it. Anyway, let's see what else we got here. I'm trying to read through here. Let's see, yellow, oral. Let's see. Hi, Lorian Tribe. Yeah, let's see who else we got here. Let's see. That's Janet. Janet is married to boss Janet. Uh, what's that say? It's married to... I'm trying to read what that says. It's married to boss Janet is a total man. Oral Ole, you... Let's see. Let's see, Oral Ole, you aren't blocked anymore. Now, Oroli is clear to come into the channel. Yeah. Straight jacket. Um, 
He unblocked everybody except for a few people. About four people, actually. Lori was temporarily blocked during the Robert Tilling escapade. Yeah, uh, did you get blocked when uh, Tasha came in here, Oral? Did Tasha Tilling block you? That's what I was thinking would happen. I don't know. Shout out to the 19 in the stream. Yeah, we got now. We have about three. We did have 20 people in here. I think yesterday, day before yesterday, we had 25. So we're doing pretty good. We're not doing too bad in here. Except for the. Let's see. Let's see. Uh, shout out. To, let's see. Oral was only timed out very briefly. Okay. Yes, his name is Robert Teeling, though. That's Robert? You mean Tasha is actually Robert? I use the government, their government names. Tasha did not block her, only timed her out briefly. Okay, so so Oral was never blocked. Herman o Monster. What about Herman o Monster, Oral? What's going on with... Uh, well, Herman is actually Rosie O'Kelly, right? If I'm not mistaken. If I don't say so myself. I'm just sitting here, just uh, lounging out in the RV and just waiting. Just waiting patiently for the for, for Chris to come out. Heck, I'm already growing another beard already. Can you believe that? I'm growing another beard. Dave's RV like freezing at five thousand feet elevation. Oh, of course. What, is, what are they What are they thinking, man? They go to five thousand feet elevation. What do you think you're gonna temperatures you're gonna get? It's gonna be freezing. It's gonna be cold. That's what you get when you go to Bisbee's five thousand. It's just like going to Jerome. You're at five thousand feet. What do you think you're gonna get? It's going to be freezing cold. That's the term, freezing, because it is freezing. It's 32 degrees, it's freezing, that's right. That's right. Let's see, that's, that's right, Lori. Yours, yes, Stephen Rosie, Rosie Hoff. That's Rosie's real name, huh? And she, Dave's, should grow his beard. But I don't like a beard, you know, I just don't like... I just don't like the beard, you know. I don't have any proper tools to trim it and stuff like that. I can't even get to a place to even... Heck, the last time when I was in Wally World, I was looking for one. I couldn't even find one, actually. So, that's what made me think to just shave it off. And I did. But my razors are all worn out that I got in here. So, I need to go... When I get into Wally World, I got to get a package of... Um, of razor blades so I can shave this beard. I got good shaving cream. I got all that kind of stuff. Dave's RV Life should grow his beard. He's trying to look like a 15-year-old kid. Did you see this video? He's trying to look like a 15-year-old kid. He's showing his old 15-year-old pictures. You're not going to look that young when you're 45 years old. You're 45 years old. You're not going to look that... You, you know what? You cannot defy the age of gravity you cannot defy gravity gravity is going to grow you you're going to get old you're going to grow old that's just a way of life you have to face the fact that you're going to get old and you're going to look old you're going to look your age eventually just like me you know so you know you sometimes you just have to look like you're 100 years old you know <laughs> you know what i'm saying well, I'm not 100. I'm only I'm 59. I'm pushing 60. It'll be 60 in August. It's just coming around the corner. Just, just coming around the corner. When my age grows, I'll be coming around the corner. When my age grows, we'll be coming around the corner. We'll be coming around the corner. We'll be coming around the corner when I age. There we go, a little sing in there for you. A little karaoke, my, my method way, you know what I'm saying? Easy. 
David transitioning to I wonder is he going to is he going to is that the next thing is he going to convert his hair is growing really long did you notice that see his hair he's really starting to look like a hippie you know Dave's RV life you know I could talk about him I could talk about some nomads you know we could talk about him in here I, I have I'll tell you one I talked about my basic journey you want to check out and Ken's back road travels. Yeah, we covered those channels right here and at the RV Davy station, man. Yes, we did. And who else do we cover? Um, that's some that's some news. Dave RV life converting to a female. I don't I don't know if there's any truth to it. Um, I know he did try to fly his drone. Didn't do a very good job trying to fly his drone. So evidently he's a little rusty or just forgot how to fly it. That's what happens when you don't fly your drone for a while, you know. You lose your aptitude to fly the damn thing, you know. I could care less what I look like. Still get the women is all that man. Well, you know, if you, if you get the women by the way you look, then, then you're good, you know. But maybe Dave's RV life, what's he trying to do? Uh, is he trying to pick, what's he trying to pick up on? Uh, a female or what's he trying, maybe he's trying to get another male, you know, because if he's trying to look like a female, what's a female do? It attracts a male, right? So that's what he's probably trying to do. I mean, look at Aja. Aja was a man converted to a woman. So why did Aja convert to, to look like a woman like that for to track the man right that and she did she did get a man so she and he's gone I don't know what happened to him but he's no longer around what did happen to that guy does anybody know he just kind of like went by the wayside you know real quick he didn't last very long with uh, Aja that's for sure I forget what the guy's name was but evidently she lost him back east somewhere. I, let's see, do what I did, go to a big open field, sit there a week, flying it all day. That's how I learned. Yeah, you just got to go in the open field, you know. You can, don't do it next to cars, you know, because what are you going to do? You're going to hit a car and you're going to ding it and you're going to kill your, your freaking drone and then you're going to kill the car. You're going to cause all kinds of problems. You, Get the cops involved. Then if you don't have a license to fly it, then you're going to have another issue. Um, end up in jail for flying a damn drone improperly, you know. I'm sorry, I'm in jail for flying a drone with no license, whatever, you know. That's a stupid, stupid thing to do. It's another dumb reason to get caught by the cops, you know. Is uh, she a whole woman or still has... I, who you talk? We talking about Aja? Aja, I don't know. I don't know if Aja's got, you know, all the. I don't think Aja did the full operation. I don't think so. What does everybody else think? I don't know. Take it to a, a voting poll here. Got to ask Aja that. You know, hey, did you have your parts removed and something else, whatever? You know, it's. You know, I don't see anybody asking uh, Aja that question, you know. It's a good question. It certainly is a is a good question to ask uh, of Aja. John, oh, John. Yeah, John was his name. See, Aja tried to look like a, a good-looking female so could, so she could, so, so she could attract a man. That's what she did. And she did. She attracted John. So, so John was obviously... I guess he likes men because he went for Aja. But the but he, he got a little better version of it. You know, he had... You know, I went to the doctor's office yesterday. You know what I saw yesterday? I, I wish I'd have filmed this, but Aja has large... Men. But anyway, I was in I was in the doctor's office. I was in the... Uh, the uh, I was waiting in the uh, lounge there at the, at the doctor's office. A man came in wearing a dress stockings and and no and it had a bald head but you know had boobs and had you know dressed just like a woman you know i was i was i didn't know what to say i just kind of like looked you know and i didn't keep looking or staring i just 
I just thought, wow, that's freaking, freaking crazy. <laughs> I'd never do that. <laughs> Put on a wig and, you know, a dress and whatever and some high heel shoes. Uh, he was wearing high heel shoes, man. Freaking crazy. I, I, I was just, I, I was stunned. I, you know, I don't know what people, you know, nobody said nothing. Nobody acted like, nobody, I mean, everybody that was in there didn't say a word or, Nothing. They were just quiet. It just, it shocked me, that's all. It just, but, you know, you, <laughs> you, you, nowadays, I guess, anything can happen, you know, anything. I mean, you could see anything. Anything. You could see a woman trying to be a man, you know, I mean, uh, but I, I doubt you see much of that, you know. Why would a woman try to be a man? I just, well, I don't know. Or would they? You don't see too much of that. You'll see more of the men trying to be more like a woman, you know, like Aja did. And so many others. There's all kinds of people in the nomadic community that are um, transgender. Heck, we, even get, we have them coming into my channel, for God's sake, you know. We get, we get Tasha Teeling in here, you know. So, but, you know. Hey, I don't care. No big deal. I just, you know, I see, I observe, and that's it. You know, and it's just like, well, whatever. Is is when is Chris going to be? Uh, I got to be patient with him. I'm, I'm, I'll probably look at my text messages here and see what's going on with him. Katie Hoke, how, how have you been feeling? Let's see. That's right. Katie had a surgery, didn't she? Ready to graham cracker. Ready to graham cracker is uh, transgender, right? Didn't Ready actually was a woman converted to a man, right? Isn't that what happened there, Janice? That's what I'm thinking happened there. So that's kind of like, that's the opposite, you know? Have you heard from Camper Van Arnie? No, I never heard from, uh, never heard from Arnie. I don't think he's... Do has anything with the has anything to do with the nomadic uh, community anymore? I, I think he's, I think he's gave given up on it. You know, he, his channel never grew. Camo Dave talked about him for a while and stopped talking about him. And as soon as Camo Dave found out who he was, and he stopped talking to him, probably because he found out he he used to talk to my channel, and then he got rid of him. You know, but. Anyway, he's not doing that. And he, I, I've not seen a video from him in, geez, a long time. When does Chris know how? I told him it's urgent. You know, we gotta get, we gotta get out of here, man. We can't sit here. He knows that. He knows that for sure. So, I mean, how many? I mean, I had a, I, I mean, everywhere I go, I track cops. So, seems that way. Everywhere I've gone, I've met up with a cop or two, so. But, hey, I'm not breaking any laws, so I ain't worried. I ain't too concerned. Told the cop, I'm getting medical care here, man. I proved it to him, too. So, he, he understood. Yeah, so. I go, I'm 59 years old, man. I'm old, old, decrepit individual. Pro I'm we're working my way to my grave. You know, I think I told him. He goes, yeah, you don't want to go to your grave. I said, why not, man? Why not? I should. You know, I should be in the grave, you know. I told him I could have been in the grave many times. You don't even realize. He goes, yeah, yeah. I think I, if I'm looking at your medical records, yeah, I guess I guess you could say that. Well, let's see. What was it? Uh, Crackle Bird Bur does medical care. <laughs> Let's see what we got. What Ken's back road travels has it's got a statement here. It says, uh, "What's it say?" It says, "When I was in Thailand, you had to be a hundred percent on your toes. Many, many beautiful uh, lady boys there. They, they even have a thing there where you are in a club. Women will let you check, check to see if they." They're a man or whatever. Okay. Let's see. Uh, I do have... Let's see. Katie Hoke said I have great insurance, though. So... 
Let's see, uh, Oroli, what's she saying? She's saying you outlasted, <coughs> outlasted Camo Dave. Yeah, I have. He didn't think, he, he, you know what? He did say something about that. Camo Dave said, there's no way RV Davey's going to outlive me. He said that. I heard him say it. I don't know how many times, but he did say it. Let's see, federal blue uh, x-ray on my finger. Yeah, I got really good dental right now. Dental insurance. I can get my hear. I can get hearing aids. I get visual, real good visual. You know now. So, um, so yeah, I got. I got really. I got five thousand uh, dollars towards my teeth, which is really good. That's exactly what I needed, and I got it. So, I'll be working on that, but I can't. I gotta wait till I get to Flagstaff, because they got dental right right there at North Country, and I can get. I get better deals there, so. Lori, Asian women are excellent. Asian women are beautiful, man. If I had a choice between a white American lady and an Asian lady or or any other color lady, I think the Asian lady would be the most uh, person I'd be more attracted to, I would think. Yeah, I, I, I think Asian women are beautiful, man. That's just what I think, but that's just me. I just might just not that I'm gonna get one. I'm too old now. I ain't getting nobody now. I'm too old. I did the lady that was treating me yesterday in the office. Her birthday was the same as mine. Same birthday, same years, except it wasn't the same year. She she was 1963 and I was 1962. So I was one year older than her. So I said, yeah. So I said, my mom and dad, you know, get got it on you know, a year later or. Or I forget how much uh, earlier it was, but yeah, they got it on sometime in in the winter time when things were cold. And of course, it was cold because they were in Cleveland, Ohio at the time, so that was cold. So they got so cold they snuggled close together, and it produced me. That's how I came about. So some, you know, two couples got it on and had a baby, and turned out to be RV Davy. So. R.V. Davy was then born, you know. They don't care about H. Davy. I know they don't care about the age, but they care about one other thing, you know. That's all they have to care about, right? Did she get depressed when she saw? <laughs> she get dep She probably did. She probably did get depressed. I mean, I'd be depressed if I looked at me too. <laughs> I'm depressed because I just looked at myself in the mirror, you know. I cracked the damn freaking mirror, for God's sake, you know. Oh, Davey, you can always get a a woman uh, from another country. Yeah, you, you guys can pay. You got to pay. It's, they're never going to stay with you, you know. Then again, my friend got a Russian lady. She stayed with him. But then again, he's worth a lot of money. So that's why she stayed with him, you know. So... She made a good choice, I guess you could say. And they produced one kid, so. They didn't want a kid, but they ended up having one, you know, accidentally. But they love him, you know. So, they love their kid. So, that's good. That's good, you know. Worthless Eaters is in here. Yeah, I just, you know, for me, I don't know. I'm content with just being... Just with myself, you know. You know, I, I it just too it's it was it's just so hard to be able to get a lady and, and, and be able to get along with them, you know, and and just everything. It's just it's just it's way too difficult. It's complicated, very complicated. That's all I could say. We got twenty people in the house, man. Some women would love the R V life. <laughs> Travel. They probably would, but, you know, I'd have to find one that would be traveling as well with a separate vehicle, you know. Um, I'll tell you one that's that tra that might that might travel or would like to travel, but I'm not saying I'm going to hook up with any, anybody or anything. I'm just I'm just saying um, Lori, Lori, uh, not Lori, uh, Joni, Joni Portwood's got a, a, a trail, a camper with a truck. She could she could camp she could camp in my group, that would work. I mean, it'd be nice to have 
somebody, because then she could go retrieve, you know, goodies or whatever, or water, you know, something like that. She could take the camper off. T we could t we could ride in the truck and go get supplies, go to the grocery store, stuff like, you know, something like that. If we get like two or three people in a group where we're camping with three in a group, I think that'd be cool. Ken Ken's, uh, I'll tell you, I'll tell you, Ken's back road travels. Joni and myself could be in a group, you know. That'd make a good group. I mean, we get two, three, four people. We got our own little tribe, you know. We got our own little tribe going. I think that'd be kind of cool, you know. She's not single, Lori. I have a boss. Joni Port would, would be an amazing addition to the RV Davy tribe. Yeah, she she would be good. Uh, she's a good cook. She she certainly could be the the camp cook. You know, we get two three people in the group. I think that would be great. You know, didn't you learn the? the let's see, Joni could sing songs. Yeah, we could sing. We could, and then we got a guitar for the campfire. You know, yeah, we got we got several singers, and that, that would be great. You know, me playing guitar, singing. Uh, Joni playing guitar, singing. Oh, that would work out pretty good, man. She's not in here right now, but uh, yeah, good. That could happen. You know, she can get out this direction. You know, Phoenix is good right now. The weather's nice. Weather's ideal right now. I, I had to use the heat a little bit last night, just because I, you know, I didn't want to catch a cold. So, let's see. Joni could sing songs at Davy Ranch. She uh she has she had a good voice. Let's see. Let's see, I have a good one, Lori. Just trust me. I I learned from the first. I'm gonna ask Joni if she will join the R V Davy tribe. Ask her. Yeah, ask her. She's got the camper. She she did but you know, some people are afraid you know, they're afraid to make that move, you know, to do it, you know. I'm I'm right in the middle of it, so you know, I got a place that's not that far away, you know. I got, you know, 100 and 190 miles from here, 188, whatever it is. I get the Flagstaff, 150 miles. I'm about 100 and probably 135 miles from, from the in town of Flag. Probably 140 miles right now. I'm right next to Interstate 17, too, which is the interstate you go up the Flagstaff on, so... I'm right next door to it, so not a big deal there. Get this thing running right, yeah, I'd certainly climb that hill. Uh, I climbed it before, I'll climb it again, you know. Yeah, I, I'm looking forward to going to Cottonwood, I really am, Cottonwood, and then singing some karaoke. It'd be cool to have, like, Joni in the, in the group, because she could be coming in to the to the facility and then where I'm singing karaoke, and she could sing as well. That'd be good. That'd be cool as hell. Let's see, Davey, what do we have to do to join your tribe? You just just get a camper and a whatever. You can do it in a car, man. People do this lifestyle in a car, but I certainly couldn't do it. Not with my health condition, no. But people do it. If people are able to do it, then, then so be it. Do it, you know. Let's see, Joni has her own original songs that she wrote. Yeah, well, she could play original songs and we could join in. Did your mechanic who knows those, uh, knows those vans very well get the, get the rig repaired? Yeah, my friend has a van. Um, and I've got, you know, this is basically a van too. It just got, it's the front part of a van. You know, so same deal there. California wildfire grows to more than a hundred acres. That's that's uh that's a lot of that's a lot of land that could go up and gulp in big flames. Let's see, in two thousand twenty three I'm hoping both Joni and R V Davy unlock me. Unlock you see my yeah, I got to get the flag too. Uh, anyway, because I got to do my license and my uh, my tags up in there, so I got to get my tags. And I'm just wondering how I'm going to get my freaking tags because they don't give them to you anymore. 
So I'm going to have to get a place for those tags to be mailed and get the tags and put them on the license plate, you know. Shalom, I was wondering what, what a TIG was. TIG is a welder, isn't it? TIG, TIG welder. The mechanic said he knows what's wrong with it. That's the Econoline van, E350. This is the Econo, that's the Econo, this is basically a, a E350. Same difference. You know, people want to call it something else. I go, dude, it's just a freaking E350. Same thing, man. Same difference. You know, you don't don't sweat it. You know, I think the the RV tribe will be bigger than Oz's tribe soon. Oz only has a few. What's she got? How many people is in her group? I think one, two, three, four. I think she's got like five. Five people in her group. She got Dave's RV Live. She got this other guy. Uh, who else? Um, and she okay. Wait, Dave's RV Live. This other guy. She got. They got Dory. Dory. I wish I know who she is. And uh, Dory is a is a transgender too. Dory is a conver is converted to a woman from a man. Yeah, Dory's very handy. Uh, handy with tools too. She cuts. She's got a saw. She can. She can saw pallets. All kinds of stuff. I've seen her. She. She was. When I was at back when I was camping at the river in Ehrenberg, she was right next to me. Right next to me. So, let's see. So that's her, Terry and Scott, and then Aja. That's five people. I believe they got five people. Maybe six in their group. That's it. That's how big their group is. All strangers and, and Aja's now. And, you know, she's got a whole different group. It's funny because she wouldn't let me in her group. I wasn't allowed in their group, whatever. So whatever. What? Who cares? I'm not trying to join her group anyway. I never was. I never tried to join a group. If I, I, was, I was camping right by them, but I wasn't in their group. Somebody was trying to say... I was, but they were incorrect. That's Butterfly. Where's Butterfly Gypsy? I thought she was supposed to be in their group. How come she's not in their group? Uh, that's a good question, though. Why is she not in their group? That's my question. They took that land and really made something out of it. You know, I you know, I got my I got my property, and I can make uh, I can do all kinds of stuff with it. You know. I can make a garden. Uh, you don't, don't ever. I'll tell you one thing: you never do. Don't dump your human human or human or on on something that you're going to eat. Never do that. Never. Be a bad mistake. You just get mulch and dirt and mix that together for your nutrients in your garden. That's what you do. You go to the good old garden store, or whatever at at. Uh, Walmart or Home Depot and get your bag of mulch or two and mix it in with the dirt, stir it up, throw your seeds in, grow your plants. That's simple. Grow your tomatoes and, you know, salad, lettuce. That'd be the big thing for me, just growing, getting some onion, potato, and um, some herbs, you know, grow some herbs, like such as, I just get potter pot plants or the you know, you know, those pot, you know, I'm not talking like marijuana plants. I'm talking burger pot plants about 12 inch in diameter, maybe a little bigger. And you can grow some cherry. What you get, you get the cherry tomato stand and then you, you put the cherry tomato uh, seeds in there. And then the cherry tomatoes will just grow on a vine up on that stand inside that uh, 12 inch or 18 inch diameter. And then that'll grow your cherry tomatoes. Get like three or four of those, man. It's then you make it makes it simple. So throw the dirt, mix fifty percent dirt with the mulch, throw your seeds in there, and then water the damn thing. And then you're gonna have some really cool. Just in a couple months, just think you could be growing stuff for the next seven months. So you can have seven months of cherry tomatoes or, or potatoes, salad, herbs, all that kind of stuff, spices. You could get, uh, you grow oregano, uh, thyme, 
just a bunch of stuff, you know. Aja has a pipe leading out of uh, leading out of her compost toilet. What's the pipe for, Janice? That's just a vent, isn't it? That's just a vent the uh, whatever out from the toilet, I believe. Compost is just, you know, you could do it any way. You, you, you bucket, you you can put a, uh, a, a a toilet seat on top of the bucket. And then, um, actually, you, uh, the best way is just build a box. Put the bucket inside the box. Build, Make the box the same exact size as a damn container. You know, the bucket's the same as the, the box. And then make a, a pull-out. Because you got, or... You definitely want a lid so you can lift the lid up so you can pull, get it, because you got to pull the bucket out, you know. Got to at least do that, so, that much. I'm just saying. Uh, compost human waste is the best to grow anything, Davey. I, you know, you could do that, but I think it'd be better to use the cow's manure, you know, you know, from a cow. I mean, I've heard people say they would never use human, human stuff you know to do that um i don't know i would just you know if i did it i i would i'd take the compost and dump it around the trees and let the trees have some nutrients you know um urine and uh vinegar just urine and vinegar mix actually urine and water uh gives a lot of nutrients uh to trees and plants and so forth yeah i've read up on that so that that would be something a pipe a pipe down a ditch for the liquid oh she made the pipe for the liquid okay yeah i mean yeah you could run the yeah i mean you got, that that's better than putting in a gallon bucket you know and then then you got to dump the bucket so that's a smarter idea actually but you want it to go downhill you know let it run out about 25 feet but you, but but what you what you want, what you want to have is so you could kind of move it around, you know, because you don't want that that urine, you know, going in one spot because it's going to stink right there, you know. So what you want to do is kind of move it. You want to make it make it so it's a, you can so you have a device where you could kind of move it, you know, like let's say twenty feet over or whatever, or within a twenty foot range, you can kind of move it five feet, and then you can then. Then what you do is that you go all the way over um, after you've been doing it. And then you just move all the way back to the very front where you started. And then it and then it won't be so bad, you know. You could dump some fresh dirt over it, you know. Kind of mix it up. I think that'd be pretty good. But I got to get like a scooter that's electric so I can ride around. Then I can, you know, grab a rake and I can drive and rake a little bit, you know. So I can I could do some work. You know, sitting on the scooter, you know. And then I could go fishing, too. Uh, that way I could go to the lake, you know. So, and do some fishing. Um, yeah, I mean, right, right, like, I'll tell you, there's some great lakes in Williams. Williams actually has the best lakes for fishing. Flagstaff doesn't have a really a good lake for fishing. Except for Lake Mary. Lake Mary is just not good anymore. Um, that's why, that's why Williams, Arizona has the better lakes. They got, I forget the name of some of the lakes in there, but Williams, Arizona, uh, great town. Williams has a great, they've got Joni's in here, see? See, Joni, you got to get your, you got to get your camper on your truck, man. Come hit, hit the road, man. Come, come go camping with uh, Mr. Davey here. You know, we're gonna, I'm going to be heading up north here pretty soon. Be heading up towards, I'll be going to Sedona. I'll be camping at Sedona, Cottonwood. Yeah, Cornville. A lot of people don't know about Cornville. Cornville is right next to Sedona, man. Cornville is where John McCain used to live. But the family still lives there. You know, Cornville. Cornville, Arizona. Cornville is a cool town. Um, so yeah. Yeah, I got uh, me, I got I got I got some acreage, yeah. That I do. Let's see, but yeah, uh, so you know, I I, I got to do some road work. I got I got I got a road that needs to be scraped, and I haven't been able to find anybody to do that. So, I think if I had a pallet and a in a truck, 
you know, or, you know, and I could drag a pallet or two and put some weight on it, I can, I can, I can make that road a lot better, you know what I'm saying? I could actually make a pretty good road just with a couple pallets. Just put two pallets side by side, put some weight on it, strap it, and then drag it, you know? That'd be the ultimate. You know, you just keep dragging it and dragging it, you know, get some, then you got, see, what I want to do is I want to make a pebble driveway with pebble rock, and then put the rock inside and then make a parking, then build four walls around it, and then put, uh, and then put, so that, and that way I could still get my solar, I could park, and then put an enclosure door that slides back and forth, and then uh, that way, you know, it keeps the mice out, keeps the pack rats out, keeps them from getting in your car and eating up your wires, and that part of it's ironed out, and then you do the same thing with your with your vehicle or the house that you're living in too. You build a little, build up a little wall around it, keep the critters out, and they won't they can't come in. You know, they could try to, but you just make it so it's slippery, so they can't climb. Let's see. So what we got? So we gotta get. So we gotta get uh, Joni Portwood to get her camper. Anybody that wants to join up. Can join up with me, you know. Ken's back road travels. There we go. Myself and Joni. That'd be a, that's three right there. Who else wants to join? Come on in. Join up. That's all we got to do. Then we could all help one another. We could all have a nice. We could all chip our money in together. Make uh, make a meal for for all three of us or four or whoever. Or it could be five people. It could be twenty people. Who knows? It could be just a. It could be anybody. Should I convert my truck to a dually? Could you you want to convert your truck to dually? I don't know if you could do that, but if you can, you know, if you got the money and you got the means to do it, you know, then do it. You know, do it. I say I can't do the. No, it'd be up in northern Arizona, Ken. No, it'd be up around the. It'd be up around um, Sedona, Sedona. Uh, cottonwood area um but you can't stay there for a long time because it's going to get hot there you know so you gotta you gotta get up to flagstaff you know flagstaff's got got you know you go to cracker barrel camp there or you camp out in the woods whatever there's a couple options you got you go out you go out by lake mary lake mary's just right just just outside flag oh actually you're right next to walmart you go down the next road that's a turnoff for uh going to Lake Mary. But Lake Mary's about how many miles is it? I'm gonna say Oh, there's a few lakes out there, but I'm not sure. They're probably empty because there hasn't been much for water um back in there. But it should be better now. This year's been a better year for for snow. Uh Sedona I'm heading there. Yeah, well yeah, come out come out this direction and uh I'll have this vehicle ready. We'll head up the hill. Head up the hill, head the flag, or, or head to Sedona, excuse me. You could go, you could go into uh, Main Stage Lounge, and uh, I'll sing some karaoke, man. Do some singing there. Have a couple beers and sing. You could play bingo there, too. I think on Mondays, Mondays, Tuesdays, they have bingo night there. They still do it, too. And you can win money, too. So, you buy the cards, paper, slips, whatever. And play the bingo, and heck, heck, you can win some money. It's not a big group of people. It's a really good chance of making money there. Take care, everybody. I got to go to work. Okay, man. Go to work. Got to make the moolah. Okay, catch you later. Thanks for coming in, man. Appreciate it. Don't forget to come back. Yeah, he always does. Davy Tribe member. Ken's back. I say I will. I prefer uh, Tennessee, Arkansas, North, uh, Alaska, Kentucky. Joni Portwood's in Kentucky right now. I believe, right? Aren't you, Joni? You're in. I think you're in. You're in. Uh, um, where am I? I'm at. I'm at Cracker Barrel. So. I'm in Cracker. <laughs> I'm trying to get out of here. I'll get out of here. I'll get, I will get out of here. Believe me. I'll be. I will. I. I'll be out here today. 
because I'll if I if I don't have it running, I at least got to get Chris to put the gas tank back so I can at least get out of here. That way I can get towed. You know, that's my only concern. Get the gas tank back so I can get towed out of here. The tribe member is a good supporter of the RV. American Traveler, the tribe member. Yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, he is. No doubt about it. Everybody in here is, really. Elvis said Joni is in Richmond. That's what she said. She said she's seen his uh, Lisa Marie. It doesn't seem like he'd be living in cold weather like that, though. I thought he was in Texas. That's what I thought. That's what he was saying. He was in, um, oh, what part, by El Paso, Texas or whatever. Elvis called him a good Kentucky sissy boy. Elvis is traveling with Rich, traveling with rich Life of Road Trips. He's, he's hanging out with Rich Life of Road Trips. That's who he's hanging with. That guy that sounds like a hillbilly. He got sound like a hillbilly. I'm a, I'm just a little bit, I'm, I'm thinking, I'm, I don't know what I want to do. I am in my head. He's what he talks like, you know. That's just what he talks like, I'm just saying. I wish Chris would get here. I'm going to text him. I'm going to have to get off here to text him. Because I can't stay on here and, and, and text at the same time. I lose the broadcast. I got 20 people in here. Uh, so Elvis called... Uh, Ro ro road trip, a rich life of road trips, a sissy boy. I thought, yeah, I thought he liked him, or you know, he talks highly of him, or something. He, of course, Elvis travels don't like me, so I don't really care that he don't. I don't care if he don't like me. I don't care. No big deal there, you know. I thought I'd meet him at one time. I thought we were gonna meet up, but that never happened. And I don't think it ever will happen either. So. I'll see you all later. I have a lot of videos piling up. I hope he comes. He'll be here. He'll be here. He he comes. He always comes a little bit later, but he doesn't have that much to do. He'll get it done pretty quick. It's, he's it, the hard work has already been done. It's just a matter of jacking it up and getting up high enough to get underneath here. You know, might as well weld it too. He's got the pipe underneath there to weld so. So he's got to do a little bit more welding as well. But I'd say, at this point, let's just get let's just get this thing running and get the heck out of Dodge. I want to be able to move around. You know, I'm kind of I hate being stuck here. You know, I got to be able to get to a dump station and dump the tank and do all the things you that you need to do. You know, when you're living, I need some little bit more water. I got, what, 60, got 70 flats of water. I got 70 bottles of water left. And one gallon of water, too. A gallon and, about a gallon and a quarter. So, yeah, I need, I, I like those containers, so I'm going to refill those two containers because it would be good, you know, half, like half of one of those will make spaghetti, you know. Put some water in there, boil the noodles, and make some biscotti. Yeah, I got to get some, fr I I got fresh ground beef. It's frozen, though. It's frozen it like a rock. So, Lori Teeling, what's she saying? We'll be welding your gas tank. Can you go live when... He ain't welding the gas tank. I, I don't... Actually, I don't... Actually, uh, the welding is not a good idea, to be honest with because the gas tank being down like it is. Uh, I'd leave it... We'll, we'll just think about that a little bit later. A little bit later, yeah. Amanda May said Elba was an awkward, was awkward in the sack. Amanda May, that's, so Elvis travels likes men then, obviously. What happened with the gas tank? Well, the gas tank is hanging down because the one mechanic only did half his, only did half the work. And that's what happened there. So, and he dogged me. So, okay, Janice, thanks for coming in. Appreciate it. We'll, we will catch you later, man. I never cared. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> huh. 
man. Oh, that's terrible. <laughs> women sure like to hate other women, don't they? It's one thing I noticed. What is it with women hating hating on all these other women? What is the deal there? Let's bring Tasha back to get... <laughs> Oh, you guys are funny. It's hilarious. It's hilarious in here, man. It's, it's funny how a, a, um, a silent text could be hilarious, you know? It's just, it's just freaking funny. Stay warm, Janice. Yeah, you got, she's got... Same with Lori Teeling. has got to stay warm, too, because where she's at, it's ice cold. Here's going to be, what, 73 degrees or whatever it is? 73, like... 55 for the low. I forget what. Feels warm in here just because I used the heater. So he's Robert Teeling now. Let's see. I love older women like she is amazing. You like the older women, huh? Likes the older women. I watched an older woman. She was talking about her. Um, her uh how, how she made her uh compost toilet i thought that was interesting because of the diverter the p the, the p diverter was she said men could could pretty much pee anywhere you know which we can you know within reason you know we can so i thought we had decided to get rid of blue lorry we had well, she's here. She's if, if you know people are good, and they're be, they behave, then they could stay in here. We got Barrow English in here. There we go. Thirty three. She's what? You're thirty three years old, Barrow. I didn't know you're thirty three years old. In England, she's from the UK. She lives. She lives on the pond. Yeah, they call it the pond over there. I don't know why they call that the pond. To me, it's just the ocean, you know, but I don't know. It's what they call it. So I go along with whatever they say. You know what I'm saying? I just go with the flow of things. Let's see. Uh, Ken's back. It was uh, 20 here less. That's 20. That's cold, man. I'm not used to anything like that. I, I don't ever experience that kind of cold. I think I experienced 26. It actually got down to 26. When I was here. I know it got that cold when I was in Lake Havasu. It got down to about 26, 7. Hi, Davey. How are you doing? Oh, we're doing it. We're hanging. Temperature. Oh, temperature is 33. Okay. That's not entirely too bad, but bad enough if she calls the cops on you. No, I keep, uh, I don't worry about the, 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 the pee. What I do is I keep the pee in containers, so. I'm keeping the pee in the containers with the lids sealed. So, and I dump them later. I just dump them later. Not a big deal. R.I.P. Meatloaf and, and Louis Anderson. What? Meatloaf passed away? Meatloaf passed away, and so did Louis Anderson. The big guy, right? Meatloaf, I'm surprised Meatloaf died. Did he really die? That was a bit of stuff. Do you know what gullible means? Yeah, I know what gullible means. Yeah, of course I do, Katie. It means you, you can believe whatever somebody's crap, you know? That means you're gullible to somebody, you know? I know what that means. Yeah, Meatloaf died yesterday. Of... Oh, he did? Oh, my God. That's terrible. 74. And Big Louie was 69. Big Louie? Oh, man. He passed away, too. Damn. That He was a good comedian, you know? Well, I mean, I wasn't a big fan of his, his comedy, but... Still, I you know, I knew he was a celebrity, you know. Meatloaf, that's a shocker. She, he sang all those good songs, man. Man, he sang uh, 
I'm trying to think of all the songs he sang. Uh, now to be playing, they'll be playing. Uh, let's see, I think you're gullible. You easily, you easily believe people. Uh, not as much as I used to, uh, Katie Hoke. Uh, not nearly as much as I used to be. I totally, I, I, I flicked the switch around a little bit. I'll tell you what, Ken. You could go up, but just a bit north of Phoenix, about. 45 miles, and you it's it, you got unbelievable scenery, and uh, ju it's just right down the street from where I'm at. Just like we're talking 35 miles, and you're in some beautiful territory, beautiful mountain sceneries, it's gorgeous. Seven Springs is really cool. Um, Horseshoe Dam. Look up Horseshoe Dam online. And and that and you're right on the river, man. You're right on the river. I mean, t talk about some cool camping. You're right, right on the other side of the Horseshoe Dam. Yeah, you know, you're right where they, the the part where they release the water. You know, you could look at some old videos where they piled, where they released a ton of water. Actually, the water was going right over the top of the dam there, at Horseshoe Dam. That's how much water was coming in there. Check it out, man. It was, and then you could crawl yourself underneath the dam. You could actually walk on the dam, and then they got a little path where you could walk through and across. It's really cool. I've done that, so I'm just glad I did all that stuff. Cause, you know, I camped where I could hear the hear the river just freaking flowing, roaring. Yeah, I could I could hear. I could tell that the river was picking up some speed when I was sleeping at the river. You know, I think now the only thing. People do die from COVID. Every day, other reason people used to die from was uh, just went away. Went just went away. Yeah, I had COVID. I was almost. I almost died from COVID. I almost passed away uh, about a year and a half ago, actually. But then again, I almost passed away by a lot of things. So, so I mean, I'm still. I could still die. Um, I could die very easily. Um, I could die within a minute. In a couple seconds. You know? I mean, there's just a lot, of, a lot of different ways I could die. But I almost died. You know, I almost died so many times. I mean, I. that's why they, you know, cats get nine lives. I mean, I felt like I've had nine lives already, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, hold on. here I'm paralyzed here I'm sorry to bother you yeah. I keep saying I overheard these people talking about it that they're gonna call it good luck with no truck tonight at 8 o'clock it's it, I just got to see the and see it and um, I'm in this one right here yeah man I I am oh my god I'm so stuck for some reason I replaced an alternator um, yesterday evening, yeah. and I thought everything was good, and I got across town, pulled in here looking for my uncle, and it, it went completely dead. All everything went dead. So, oh, you can't even start it? No. And Allison won't run without battery power, and my dad borrowed my battery charger, and I, my maintainer is not working, they let me plug in over here. But I don't have a battery charger that would bring my battery up. To See, this place wanted me out. See, how my fuel pump went out, and that's what my problem is. My, my I got a personal mechanic coming out. Oh, I would, I would replace the fuel pump. Huh? I can replace the fuel pump. My gas tank is half hanging down right now. Uh, my friend's got, my friend's got the uh, got the fuel the, the pump, and I, I put a new. Um, a new uh, fuel filter on it too, but the guy that did it put it on wrong. Put the fuel filter on wrong. He did. There's a there's a can a holder for it. Yeah. Plug slides right in. Well, he didn't slide it in that container. He left it hang. So he did that. So my friend looked at it. He goes, "Oh, I can't believe, man, he did that." Yeah, this thing was run. It was like dogging. It was like riding about 20, maybe 10 miles an hour. It wouldn't go any faster. 
had no power. And so that, and then I heard a whining sound come in. So I, to me, that was, that's the, uh, that's the fuel pump causing that. Or usually is. I mean, it's never been replaced in here. So it's been, this is a 95, so. 94. So yeah, I could see that happening. But so your battery, you're, just, you're completely dead, huh? Well, yeah. I mean, I don't know. I'm, I'm not very familiar with the alternator and the voltage regulator. Yeah. I mean, I don't know. Are you familiar with the alternator? Well, all the, well, my my friend is. He he rebuilt his. You know. Okay. The brushes are the only thing that really go bad on well, this. I just thing. got a brand new one. And and so okay, it, has, it has to have a lifetime warranty on it. Right. Well, this is this is this is the third one. I'm, it's, it's not the alternator. I don't. You know how to. You know how to manually. Um, usually, a st the whole starting system is usually the starter, the alternator, and the uh, and the battery itself. And the voltage regulator. And the voltage regulator. That's voltage regulator is usually inside the alternator. Isn't that's it? what I thought too. That's 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 the way. That's the way they're supposed to be. That's where they. Well, as far as I, that's the way this one is. I mean, I thought about replacing this alternator and putting a bigger one in. To charge up the batteries a little better, but for my solar, you probably got solar on that too, don't you? No, no, no. I got 560 watts of solar on this thing. So. Is it? I need I, without solar, man. I, I mean, it's like all oh, the only basic thing. I, well, I, my black tank is full and I can't move it, so I, so I can't really. I can't. I got. I got to use buckets now. <laughs> that's. I use. I what I try to do is use the bathroom here. Just go get something to eat. And the restroom but I'm waiting for my mechanic to show up here, um, yeah, you're gonna get here. Um, sometime I'd, I'd imagine the next couple hours but uh, he's, he's busy doing some other things but uh, he, as soon as he gets a chance he's gonna he's definitely gonna be here I'd say by five or six because he knows I gotta be out of here yeah. they told me that they wanted me out of here I try, I had a tow truck driver but I couldn't get out because the cars were parked over there the truck driver couldn't line up oh, no. Otherwise, I, he would have told me I was going to have to tell me to, to Tatum and Bell to a Walmart over there. And then my friend was going to work on this thing over there. But they can't tow it now anyway because they won't tow it unless the gas tank's backed up in. So my friend would have to. So if you're going to do that, my friend of mine will just fix it. So so I, I've already worked out, you know, I talked to these guys here. Uh, I had the cops here yesterday. The cops were here waiting for me, and I talked to the cops and told them what was going on, and, and they left. Yeah, you got a battery charger, do you? No, unfortunately, I don't. I do, but I don't have one here. Not on me. I used to. Have, somebody stole mine that I had. In here. I had a lady, and some lady I was going out with. What about? What about? Do you have any extra batteries or an external battery? Or no, I, I've only got the three batteries that I run in my main battery. Um, the only thing, the only thing, uh, what do you, you just need a jump start, huh? Pretty much. Well, you could try one thing. Um, I don't know if it'll work on that, but I've got a device. Hold on a second here. Let me see something here. I was working on trying to get this thing to be charged up a little bit better, but it's not really charged up enough. But hold on a second here. Wait a second. Let me go find it here if I can dig it out. Oh. Hold on, guys. Uh, hold on. A second here. I still got it. All right. You put, 12%. We're at 12%. So, I don't know. Is this my friend right here? Huh? Is this your friend right here? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. yeah. Woo! <laughs> hold on a second here. <laughs> I'm running my YouTube channel. I've been running my YouTube channel for the last hour and a half. So. Oh, you run a you run a YouTube channel? Yeah, I run a YouTube channel. Hold on, let me. That's it. Here, see, let me show people what's going on. I got like 20 people in my. Can't remember. I can't even see how many people I got in here. How many people do I got in here? I got 19 people in my channel right now. Okay, mechanic. My mechanic just showed up. And this guy's broken down here. This is a popular, popular, I guess, parking lot to break down in. I guess RVs just like to break down here for whatever. This must be the Bermuda Triangle for RVs, man. It's the only thing I can really say. Huh? 
But that little device, I, I got a per, I got a charger that needs to charge that thing up. But basically, that device will jumpstart any any battery. It did this one. I know that. When this one went dead, you know, no, you know, turn it on. Yeah, I'm gonna ask him if he has a, a big one. We, I'm gonna go. That one, that one, thing? that little thing is pretty potent. It's a 600. Right there. Yeah. Holy shit. It's pretty powerful, man. It's, it's a beefy thing, but it, it looks little, but it sure does. Let me try it real quick. I'm right back. Yeah, try it. Give it a shot. Where's I mean, where's the plug into the wall at? It, there's a there's a little input, but I don't I I need that that I ordered one. I, Chris is probably he may even, yeah he has it. It's right in his he has that thing right in his hand right now. I got the charger for that device. It's the only thing I needed for that device. Was the charger? Was that charger for it? And I've got he's got it right in his hand. I know he's got it because they said they mailed it yesterday. So hello. Hey. Yeah. How you doing? This dude's broken down this parking lot. Uh, I'm not so much broken down. I man, maybe just need a little advice and a battery charger. <laughs> right. But but anyway, this I told him. I go, this is the Bermuda Triangle for RVs. <laughs> it freaking magnetizes the RVs and they break in the parking lot. Of course, this right. place don't like anybody. It's funny. It you know what they said is the reason for that is because it attracts homeless the homeless people. I you know what I had a hey, chick. No homeless people here. I had this gal come, I had a girl come here yesterday, or lady come in here yesterday. I opened up the window, she goes, she acted like she knew me. I said, I've never seen you in my life. You know, I, I think, you know, I... Uh, on, my, on my phone a lot. Hmm? Girls are, oh, yeah, it's been a long time. Really, yeah, 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 it's been really a long, long time, time, all right. They never. <laughs> they never. Yeah, I said, but anyway, I thought, you know, she could have had, she'd get me outside. She probably had somebody around the corner and bop me in the head and... Steal, try, they try to, I could love them trying to steal this vehicle because it won't go anywhere. <laughs> right. Won't even get them, won't even get him one inch uh, out of here. I had a tow truck driver he showed here, but he couldn't tow it because he said the gas tank was, uh, he looked underneath it. He goes, Hey, I know where I'm towing this thing. <laughs> right. So he said, yeah, But anyway, we, so anyway, I got, I got the charger that, that, that is a charger for that device. I told him that'll jump start your car. That little six that's a six hundred amp. Did you, did you charge it? Huh? Twelve percent. It's got twelve percent on it. Oh, that's not much. It ain't much. Yeah, I have a, I, It I, might work. They gave me a plug in right here, so I mean I'll plug it in for you. I just man, okay, I replaced I've been in this thing five and a half years. Alright. I'm I'm pretty damn savvy. Man, I replaced the alternator yesterday and everything was up full charge. Man, I started it up. Um, everything went up to, to, to check, but it would only go up to 11, 11, nine. Mm -hmm. And I was like, what the hell? So I let it run, 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 run. It said 11, nine. Mm -hmm. Um, then, uh, man, I went halfway across town. I pulled in here looking for somebody and it died right there in, on the road right here. Yeah. Oh man. I got a brand new alternator. This is my third alternator. This exact one. I got a brand new alternator. Um, I mean... I, I'm missing something. Either some wires are backwards, or I need to. Uh, man, yeah. I just a little bit of advice. To be honest with you, I what mean, is, what is it? What? It's a five nine Cummings. Yeah. Hmm. Um, I, don't know, I was thinking about those, but but uh, well, diesel, diesel, diesel yeah, the, pusher. Yeah, the voltage. Yeah, it's a diesel pusher. The voltage regulator, all that would be the same, would it not? Is diesel or regular? Yeah, it should be. They're you know real similar for sure. I mean, am I missing something? Is he, he, I mean, I mean the, you said the battery. It was new or pretty new? Um, it was well, it charged, not new. But it, it was up to 12.4. Yeah, it was up to 12.4. 12 12 4, that's a little low. Is it? Yeah. should be 12.6 for full charge. Oh, man. Oh, 7 or 8, really. But, but you like it to be about 13 if, if to have it to be... But you can go yeah, less. Car batteries don't go above 12.8, 12 12.85, 12 but... These go to 14.4. That's their max. ones I got in here. Solar batteries? Yeah. 14.4. They don't... They don't get up to that much. I, I mean, the highest I, I've I've seen them go that that high, but you have to have the RV on a slant on an angle. Replace the battery cables. Mm, no, it's okay. got zero gauge cables though. They're like this yeah. thick. Bigger than car bed, car. Yeah, cables. they're huge. Yeah, I had an RV like an '88 or '89, 
and it's Chevy 454. And uh, you start it up, as soon as it war warmed up, you shut it off, and you figure, like, Man. That. It didn't matter, but, you know, shut it Sometimes it would just all of a sudden rain and catch, but <laughs> end up being a battery cable, positive battery cable. Um, I guess I never, I never heard of battery cables wearing out, but obviously, weird. yeah, I thought it was kind of weird, but, but yeah, I, I fucking did well, that and it started fine every too, time, but. As the voltage started to come down, I'm checking the voltage. Yeah. I had the same voltage on both two terminals, the big terminal, and all three batteries at one point, mm -hmm. it all going down at the same time. So wouldn't that, I mean, wouldn't, isn't the stator, isn't the, the, um, the negative ground from the PCM is what triggers the exciter, exciter, exciter on the alternator, correct? Uh, well, on, on Chevy GMs and stuff, it's positive. It's a positive descent wire. Okay, so there's two wires. Does it matter which little tiny terminal those are on? Yeah, it definitely does. But, but I, don't, you know, I, I don't know which, what, you know, what those depends on. Depends on what they are, you know. But so the big, the big one on the alternator is positive, and then the next. The one on the back. The, yeah, the, the big one. The charge wire. Yeah. And then the next one over to the left is the little terminal, and that's a negative. And then like the next little, one is positive. Little plug-in. Yeah. No, it's a there's a little post. Yeah, you might want to try switching them, but um, I mean, I don't, you know, it depends on what they are. Yeah. Okay, so the wires say um, output, output, output um, says Q regulator, and then alternator output. Or the wires, they're labeled the wires. The regulator, alternator output. Huh. That's kind of weird. Because <laughs> you already got the output, the main right. charge. Wire. Right, so there's a big ground, there's a big positive, and then there's two little wires on the alternator. Here, let me add that. I'm going to yeah. charge it up now that I got the cord you know, for it. Hell yeah. And I'll come back and get it in here in a little bit. Yeah, let me, let me charge it up. Online on your phone and stuff or whatever. Yeah. Or you have a I've, laptop. I've looked everywhere. I, I can't hand. seem to find it. Yeah, yeah I can't. I had just a single wire, and found out there's resistance, you know, you can add more resistance on the wire. Normally, the older stuff, you go through the gauge, this is a charging device, I'm pretty sure. That's so cool. What is it? Work and help. You know, on mine, at idle, it was, you know, the charge was really good. Oh, wait. Where it was, it takes just a little bit off idle. Oh, no, it's not it. It's no the wire, the sense wire, the positive. You man. So the sense wire is positive, and it spills. If you were to bypass, and just to make the alternator, just to make sure that the alternator will charge, and that it's the PCM, because, I mean, I'm, I gotta put yeah. an external voltage regulator on there. Yeah. Um, it's a Winnebago, um, it's a Vectra, and it's a Spartan chassis. It's not a Chevy Ford or any of those. The Spartan would be GMC, I think. seems to be it's not charging at all. Really? Yeah. Like, I don't think the, like, I, I want to jump, I want to bypass the computer. Was it, a, uh, was it like an aftermarket alternator you put, put on there? Okay. Um, <laughs> it's, uh, one of those. Yeah, it's an AutoZone one, it's a dirt, the, um, I know, um, the, I know like they, in the, around the year 2000 and all of and up, the, uh, they were, in the Camaros, they were putting this, these smaller, I forget, Get which uh, what it is, but mostly Camaro guys were putting them, the truck alternator, which is bigger. This is actually a whole different, you know, right? You know, it's a different alternator altogether, but your brand and everything. But it's the AD 230, 237, or 244, and those are really good. But I don't know, you know, it depends on what you alternator you have. I got the best one I could get, it's like $240. These people are saying something about the ECM. Is it Dura Last Gold? Well, I mean, was it from, the, from a factory or from an aftermarket? It was from uh, AutoZone. Yeah. 
sometimes, you know, those, those, I mean, I've never had to replace an alternator and it hit me in my life, you know, actually, but, you know. I should have had the old and rebuilt? Well, yeah, or that, or go, or go, or go to, you know, the factory, whatever, get one from like a, you know, you know, GM dealer or whatever, wherever. The, Could it be because I got an alternator with a higher amperage? Well, yeah, that don't make sense. Yeah, it can be better, but, you know, the aftermarket voltage regulators don't always last, you know, sometimes I've heard stories where they, you know, put five alternators in a row, and they still, and they, you know, one of these guys has to went to the, the truck alternator, but... The ECM? Yeah, it's possible. They stared, people in here are talking about ECM. The, the, the computer is what's feeding that sense wire, you know, so it is possible, certainly. That the computer is what, but you could just run, just take a, you know, take a like where your power center is, where the you know relays and all that and fuses and right. shit, and like run a, a wire from the ignition wire right to that sense wire and put some resistors in line with it. That'd be oh. the simplest way to, to bypass the PCM, as long as it. But PCM, it ain't gonna regulate the. It ain't gonna regulate the voltage anymore, right? Well, yeah. It's gonna yeah. max out the alternator? No, no, no. If you just put 200, 300 ohms, 400 maybe, you know, that, that's about, you know, the gauge is like 200 ohms, I think, or right around 200 ohms. Like the older style before the computer. Yeah. Yeah. And it, in fact, if you even go even one step further, take that computer wire and put a diode on it to where it can, power can go to the alternator but not back. And then splice those two from that ignition wire that with the resistors put, put them in and put both of them into one into that sense wire and then the computer will still think it you know that it's it's doing all the work or whatever you know oh, if, no it, shit. if it even matters you know like some depends on what you know man, manufacturer it is but, but yeah it's it's, a, it's fun sometimes this computer controlled vehicles nowadays are well that's a 94 so it's like barely computer yeah Right? Well, you know, GM's, GM started in 81 with all their, actually since the 76 set Seville, Cadillac Seville, they had oh, electronic right. fuel injection and computer controlled right. it. They, uh, they all went to like 82, 81 and 82, they all, GM, and I'm not sure the other ones followed within a year or two. So, it's been going on a while, but <laughs> fixing that shit sometimes is like pain in the ass, right? <laughs> to say the least. Yeah, you could probably wire up a wire from the ignition, you know, either under the dash or make sure it's a key, a key, you know. It's got to be a key source. Yeah, so it's not, because it'll drain the battery, you know, sucking power to the alternator at all the time. So to test it, I can just run a key, run a key source right to there? Yeah, but if, if there's no resistance in line with it, it it'll see full, same full battery voltage or whatever, whatever the batteries are at. So the batteries are... Wow, like eight volts right now. Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah. Well, that'd be about all it see. But if it, seems, but it wouldn't charge, you know, like so. This, uh, basically, with the little bit of resistance, see the computer control that, that changes everything. I don't know exactly how they do it, but I know the older ones before computer, you know, like going through the gauge to that sense wire, that'd be like a couple hundred ohms. So it needs, to, you know, so the computer really, or the alternator voltage regular, and only sees maybe. You know, 11 volts or 12, you no know, shit. 11 volts at the, to, at when it's fully charged, and anything below that, you know, it's going to put more and more charge on it the lower the voltage is. But yeah, it's kind of weird thinking about it. Cause, so full battery voltage, if they were full to that wire, sense wire, that probably wouldn't do anything. It wouldn't charge or anything, you know. Right. But yeah, some resistors, maybe a couple, couple hundred ohms. I mean, it worked just fine, and then it just stopped working. Yeah. And did you go through? Maybe any deep water or anything? No. No. One thing that can, you know, the, the, the rotor in there, and the stator and the alternator, somehow there's like metal particles or something, or, or enough water gets in there, it'll kill the voltage regulator. Oh, yeah. but I got a brand new one now. Yeah. I just got it last night. Brand, yeah. brand, 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 brand new. Okay. Yeah, you would think it's all right. It's, it sounds to me it's you know, like that sense wire is not getting a good signal or something. You don't have a battery charger in here, do you? <laughs> no. No. I don't. no. Well, <laughs> so if I jump it and get it get it running, will and I can figure out a way to manually hit that alternator. 
It'll charge it up? Yeah, it should, if, as long as the alternator is working. You know, I don't know what the exact voltage is or whatever that the, but, you know, that the PCM gives that sense wire, but that sense wire is, is what feeds through the voltage regulator, feeds the rotor, you know, how much power. So that thing has an external voltage regulator? Well, probably not, but I mean, but the PCM is part of the voltage regulation. Right. You know, with the... And the PCM sends a... Sends how much, how much voltage, you know, that... It, yeah, right, because that's what the, the dude at AutoZone said. He said that it'll give out as much voltage as you're giving, as, it, as it's getting. Yeah. And I was like, what? Well, that's not... <laughs> so what the fuck true. do you mean by that? I was like, dude. It's only, it's only like seeing eight or whatever. <laughs> it, it might put that whole... Yeah, it'll put the eight, because it's low, but it wants it gets to, you know, it's between, like... The nor I don't know what the normal voltage is, like when you're drawing a whole bunch of stuff, you winch the wipers and lights and all that shit, but I know it's it's at least down to 10 or 9 or something. Yeah. So, it, you know, so, it, yeah, it, it'd feed most, probably all that. There's a certain point wherever it's max volt, you know, max output of the alternator. Right. And I don't know exactly, you know, everyone's probably a little different, every meat maker, but, you know, somewhere around 8 volts is probably where it feeds. Yes. Peak max, you know, and so that wow. the okay. alternator will keep it at 12 or 12 and a half or whatever, you know, even when you're running everything. But yeah, it's, it's, <laughs> yeah, it's kind of crazy. There's a, I've never in my life messed with one. I don't even know. I mean, fuck, I took an engine apart with my eyes closed. Right. I, I have no idea what I'm even hardly looking at. Yeah. I mean, I'm into a lot of power. I mean, I know what I'm looking at. I just don't ha! know. They think they're going to Cracker Barrel and then they don't know how to. <laughs> Just the yeah. test the test theory is like hmm. whoops I missed the turn yeah. I'm not quite sure at this point it was brand new last night I mean, there you go the, the straight ahead dude right straight on, ahead you now go anything. straight there you go go straight that'll get you right there you know some people you know have had bad luck I guess you know and those are the ones that are like fuck that like you know I'm getting the GM only or whatever but you know I mean but I've never had to replace an alternator I've always rebuilt it or, you know, it's whatever, but I like the older ones, pre just pre-computer, because, mm. oh, man, this place calls Quick Starts, they, they used to sell a kit to rebuild it, everything in there, everything except for the rectifier, I think they had it, everything except the rectifier, they might have had it, I don't remember, but missing one part, but it was like 13 bucks, you know, <laughs> just to, to rebuild kit bearings and fucking brushes and, shit, and I don't want diodes and all that yeah, shit. You're here for him, if you happen to... Get a moment, and if you need any help with this thing, let me know. I'll, I'll, I got whatever, I got all the tools and jacks and all that good shit. Yeah. You probably got all your shit too, I'm sure, but. Yeah, I just bought another jack yesterday. <laughs> I, got, I got a four ton, a big one. Yeah, it's yeah. a garage jack. Yeah. I had, my other one was a low profile garage jack. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah I like that jack. It, it, it's fucking, I rebuilt the pumps. It's just black o rings. <laughs> right. I put the brown ones in there, but anyway, fucking tighten it. The check ball must have cracked the fucking cast iron down wow. there it, it, it just wouldn't stay up, you know. Shitty. I was like, man. <laughs> anyway, I bought another jack, but yeah, shit. So what do you think? Should I jump this thing or should I try to start it low? Uh, I mean, I don't have a charger at this point that, that'll get it up where it needs to be. Yeah. Uh, Unfortunately, that that package was uh, was medication. I thought I was gonna get the. What kind of medication? <laughs> what do you got? <laughs> it's heart medication, so I don't yeah. think that'd do anything for you. Darn it! Darn it. You can only stay alive on this no, no, no. <laughs> All right, well I'm Dylan, by the way. Dylan. So, uh, yeah, haul it. Yeah, haul it me when you're done. I'll, we'll figure it. I mean, I'll figure it out. I'll, yeah. I'll, I'll, whatever. I mean, that's, <laughs> look, I just need some advice. You know what I mean? <laughs> right. You know. We, we know these people won't, won't be patient forever. <laughs> no, no, they're not. Yeah, they're they're not, not patient with me now. We're telling you. Oh, I got to be out of here today. And, they're like, and you just said, yeah, find a tow truck. Yeah, that's what I said. Find one big enough. If QT couldn't do it, then fuck it. <laughs> the one they had, the, they could have got it out of here, but it was too small. And then, then they couldn't find another big one. Finally, they found a big one, but then the, they can't tow me out because all the cars are blocking them. <laughs> The back right behind here. of it, back yeah, behind the RV. So they have to pull you over the curb. <laughs> right. But this, this is evidently they don't like cra they don't like RVs at this Cracker Barrel for it's some bullshit, damn reason. Huh? They just don't. I mean, it's fucking bullshit. Because everybody breaks down in it, I guess. It's gonna turn into a junkyard. Yeah. Sure. <laughs> they're not. They're not. They, they ruins if you need their. Any, if you need any hands, let me know. I'm gonna they, go over here and start. 
taking this shit apart and see what I can get on. Yeah. They do uh, good business here for sure. Exactly. I mean, <laughs> right. Thank you. Yep, yep. I'll see you in a minute. It's amazing how good a business they do because of the, the parking. I mean, the the way to get in here is really difficult to kind of find out how to get in here, man. I have this thing, but I need to. I need a. Uh, I need a uh, a fifteen a fifteen volt uh, charger for this to charge this thing up. Yeah. Yeah, it's a fifteen. It's, it's a. It's this one. It's a little small thing. Yeah. This thing will jump. This thing will jump start anything really. A uh, fifteen volt, one amp. Yeah. Anything that's fifteen mm -hmm. volt, one amp, will charge this thing. It's got a little input. Right here for the thing to plug into. Right, right. I ordered it to go to your house, so you should be see. They said they were sending it yesterday. Maybe there's, maybe it's coming today. Yeah, probably. That's probably. But this came, and that's my medica. This is my heart medication. Yeah. It's called Losartan, is what it's called. Is that what it's called? Losartan. Yeah. And what else do I got here? I've got nothing that's going to help him uh, for getting. Metroprolol, that's uh, my, this is my blood pressure pills here. So I took my blood pressure already. That thing's only sitting, it's only got a 12% 12, 12 charge on that thing, so. Probably gonna need at least 50% charge to get that. I, like I said, I don't have that cable for it, so. I do have a charger, two of them at Todd's house, but that's at 55th Avenue. Huh? Yeah, Todd's at 50, 50, no, 59th Drive. Really? He's at 59th Drive. So you got to go to basically 59th Avenue and Thunderbird. Yeah. And go just about, I don't know, maybe about a mile north of Thunderbird. But maybe two blocks, give or take. Yeah, but I got two. I got two good chargers there. I know that. They're just not here. I'd like to have one in here. Believe me, I'd love to have one inside here. So much for the excitement, huh? Smell the food here. It sure smells good, man. The far reaches of North Phoenix. Let me go sit in the back of the RV. That dude's dead. I mean, another dead RV in the parking lot. How about that? That's crazy. Ah. Get back. Step up into the into the crib. I gotta get this thing on the charge. Ah, damn it. I did it there. Ah, damn it. Dropped it. Get this thing in. She here. Hang on a second here. Get this thing plugged in if I can figure it out. Okay, we're plugged in. We're at 67%. But, we got another RV broken in the parking lot, man. So another, there's two RVs broken down in this parking lot. <laughs> What's the chances of that happening? This is obviously the Bermuda Triangle, like I said, of uh, of RVs in this parking lot. It attracts it attracts broken down RVs, and then this that pisses these people off because they do not want RVs in their park. Oh my God! I got thirty people in here. My God! Can't believe it. Camo Dave's ghost is haunting your channel. <laughs> I got my mechanic here. He's here. Uh, there's another dude that's broken down. I have a jump-starting device, but but it's just 
it's not charged up enough. It's only got 12%, and I don't have the cord for it. And I think uh, Chris is going to get it, but it's going to come into his mail, his mailbox, and I think he'll probably get it today, but he didn't have it. Didn't come yesterday, but it must be coming today because the package I opened was medication, so... What kind of medication? I said, well, not your kind that you're looking for, man. We're not talking Percocets here. We're talking heart medication. It's called Lasartan. And then I got another one that's called uh, Entresto, which is basically they're both the same kind of medications. They both do the same kind of thing. But the Entresto is a little better. But I've been taking the Entresto, so I'm going to finish taking the Entresto. And then after I finish that, I'll go on to the Lasartan. And I'll take that. But hey, if I can keep getting in Tresto, I'll take it. Because it helps my heart. So, keeps my heart alive. You know, Camo Dave could have used some of that, right? He was having heart problems. So, Tresto helps your heart. It helps your heart. But, but if you're locking blood to your heart, that's, that's another problem. That, that's called circulation issues. And that's because... His vessels are clogged up. It's because he's got too much Burger King grease in his veins. That's what killed Camo Day, Burger King grease. Hate to say it, but that's unfortunate for him, you know. He's not here. I take care of my heart. See, I take my medications and watch my blood pressure, and I do all those kind of things, see. That's why I'm still here. Otherwise, I wouldn't be, so... Camel Day passed away from him. Yeah, see, but that's because of a few things. Burger King grease and, and a couple other issues, too, because he didn't take care of himself. So that's caused his his freaking problems. It caused him, but at least he died in his sleep, you know. I hope he went to the right place. That's all I have to say. I pray. I, I prayed for him. I can't pray anymore for him, but, you know, hope, you, hope he, you hope he went to the right place, but... I don't know where his, I don't know where, what he believed in or what or anything. Alcohol. There you go. I said a couple things. Well, that I didn't mention the alcohol part, but that certainly plays a part, you know, in all that too. That the alcohol helps you to uh, your blood pressure to increase too. So poor circulation is is hiked and walked uh, every day. He had per I'm sure he had re very poor circulation, Camo Dave, and um, and then he, of course, you know, then he was ragging on my channel, so that was causing another problem for him because he was ragging on my channel. That didn't help him either, did it? Did it? I don't think it did. At least I don't think so. Got a nice tree right here, man. I got this really beautiful tree right here next to me. <laughs> it's like I parked in a. Yeah, I, I probably it's probably interfering with my solar charge too because what am I? What is my solar at? Let me check it. I'll, I'll even share that information with you guys. Let's see. We're sitting at twelve thirteen point two. That's not too bad, man. That's not too bad. We got fifty five coming in. Fifty five point one. Volts coming in. We got current at 410. Energy, we got 211 on my uh, on my Richter scale here. And I got my little little lights here that are USB charged only, which work very well. And it, especially when I'm sleeping, you know, and I need to just turn on the light. I can't. It's hard to reach up here because I can't. Ah, I can't reach. So I can reach right here. So. That works quite well for me. Okay, let's see. Let me turn in here. Uh, and this is why we're called RV Davy, right? We attract other RVers to this RV. I can't believe I I only attract RVs that are broken down. That's the only RVs I attract. Who's <laughs> and chewing on your wall? That no, that, that that that's a that's a pack rat. Hold on, you know what that caused? You know what caused that? I'll show you. I'll show you a little deep into this. I had a fire. The refrigerator caught fire. You can see right up there, and it burnt. Look at that. See how it burnt all that back there? And the fire department tore all this out. So I need to I need to put another 
I leave this open because I'm going to add some more wires. I'm going to add some more of these and just make, see, I got the wires right here. It goes right here. So it just makes it easier. So that's why I leave it like it is right now because they're, they're going to have to get in there one way or the other. So at least that way it works, you know, for now. So for now it's good. So good, good to go for now for the, let's see, let me switch. I should open up the window here. Hold on. Let me open up the window here. Get some air. Uh, now it's going to get a little noisy. You can see the traffic leaving out. Leaving out from Cracker Barrel. And then U-Haul is right next door. I'm actually running off of U-Haul's Wi-Fi right now. See why I pull out my propane fridge there. They, they, yeah, this refrigerator, it, it smoldered first, and then it caught fire after the smolder. But, there happened, luckily for me, there was a fire department, like, right at the casino I was at. I mean, built right next to it. So, the cop, there's a cop riding down the one street, 99th Avenue, when I was in Phoenix, 99th and Glendale. He saw the smoke, and he came into the parking lot, saw what it was. Because he could clearly see my vehicle. So he gets to me and tells me to get in his his, his cop car. He says, you get out of there. It's going to blow. I said, no, man. I'm going to shut the propane off first, man. I'm going to cut the propane from, from being on, guys. I got another open propane tank right in the back. So they grabbed that tank. And then they left the other one on, which I wanted to shut off. And... So that could have been way worse. It could have blown. It could have easily blown, but it didn't. I, they put it out in like 35 seconds, you know, so it was quick. It, the fire went through the roof, which I patched. I patched it. I went up there and put a, a plexiglass up there. So I go, oh, put some wood up there, man. It's cheaper. I go, yeah, it might be cheaper, but it won't last in the long run, guy. Wood wears out. It disintegrates, disintegrates, so... I said, no, my plexiglass is going to work forever, man. So, forever and ever. So, anyway, we've got Chris here. We're, we're, we're getting on it here. So, that dude's broken down. I can't help him because my little device uh, is not doesn't have a strong enough charge to jump start him. But, now, I don't have jump jumping cables. So, I don't need them with this thing. But, because you don't need them. That's it's a good idea. See, people don't have these things, you know. That's why I ordered the charger for it, but I haven't. I didn't get it, but it's coming to Chris's house. So, but I ain't going to go on his damn street. Some freaking witch that lives right across the street that has an attitude so towards me and whatever, because I called her a bitch, which she was anyway. So, oh well. That is life. That's life. What's that? How's that song go? That's life. You know, it's a good song. Thirty-four, thirty-four degrees. Judy, where you're at? Inside your place? Heck, it's probably like seventy. Eh, I'm gonna say it feels like about sixty-eight here. Feels a little, just a little bit on the chilly side. There's a little breeze too. If you look outside, you can see the breeze. You see the trees. I don't know. I guess if I'm, you're looking at me, you can't see. Yeah, there you go. You can see the trees blowing. See this tree blowing. See? Oh, it's blowing all right. Yeah, let's see. This is Cracker Barrel. There's a fire hydrant right there. So, you got a fire. I got to put a hose, hose on that and you can put any fire out. Conveniently located, there's all the people leaving here at Cracker Barrel. Hold on a second here. Get it back here. Let's see, do you have an onboard generator? Yes, I do. I have I have a, a outboard and an onboard. I've got a built-in one, and I got, and it works great. And I, I got an Onan 4000 Micro Quiet, and then I have a Honda 3500 on the back. So I got two generators on this thing. So, yeah, I mean, I could, that dude had some gas. He can, well, he could, he could easily charge up his battery off of my, off of my inverter, but 
he don't have a battery charger. I don't have one in here either, so if I did, I, he'd be in luck. He could actually be able to charge up his uh, his bat because his top charge is twelve six in a car battery. But I got solar batteries under here. They'll they'll charge uh, maximum charge is is fourteen point four, but my front battery, which starts this vehicle on the front, max charge would be twelve six. Hold on, hold on. I'm gonna lose the I'm gonna lose the broadcast, guys. I'm gonna lose the broadcast here.